Yo! Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so... That was less technical issues and more, uh, shaving issues. And now we have baby issues. <laughs> hey, bud. Wave, wave hi. <laughs> he is always so happy to see everything on. It's it's crazy. Yeah, you like the Dreamcast controller, bud? Uh, yeah, Dreamcast controller. Then look, they're saying hi. Hi. <laughs> yep. Let's see. We're not going to do a new game. <laughs> he knows exactly where the camera is, too. We're going to load this one, though. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't touch the keyboard. Yeah, this one. Alright, bud. I love you. Say bye bye. Day, yeah, say bye bye bye. Day, yes, the keyboard, I know. Day, <laughs> I love you. I just had to change my shirt real quick. Okay! Anyways, hi guys. How the hell are y'all doing? I feel better in this shirt. V-necks look terrible. I only have that for work. Anyways, uh, we beat the hell. Oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it, guys. Every time. Every flippin' time. Alright, give me one sec. Uh, deck app, web, okay, okay. I don't know how I forget to do this stuff sometimes. Well, I mean, I took my Adderall, like, hours ago. So, yeah, we're, we're dealing with, uh, um, but yeah, so now it's fixed. Uh, now I'm turning on Lumia Stream, so we'll be good on every, on everything. Everything. Uh, no, we're not updating that shit. No thanks. Maybe later, bitch. Uh, Twitch followers read permission is missing. What the hell does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Anyways, Lumia streams in chat. That's all that matters. So, how are y'all doing? How is everybody? What's up, lobster? Yo, Randy. Hey, Sean. How are things? Yo, BX Jackie. Anyway, how, how is your sex life? I can't read anyway, so I don't need permission. <laughs> what the hell is you? What the heck is even that? What's up, Mario? How are you, man? So, we did the ting. We went into the, uh... You're my favorite customer. Tunnel there, and we fixed it. We killed everything. The tower, tunnel of darkness is no more. We killed it. But anyways, uh, everything is fixed, and let me uh, put that one on real quick to fix it. You sure about that? Very. You sure about that? Super duper. Where is Are it? you sure about that? <laughs> that always surprises me. Hi, doggy. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. FBI, open up! No, no, no. Fuck. The stupid uh, Lumia stream didn't work. Maybe it's because of whatever the read permission is. So let me just check it real quick. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Damn, son, where'd you find this? Edit. Uh, oh, wait, I see the permissions. Hold on. Uh, allow. I see one that wasn't checked. What is it? Um, yeah, every single permission is there. Connect. I'm gonna reconnect. Authorize. 
Okay, I'm like looking over and under my light. It's like, it's working. Control center? Nope. Dashboard. That's what it is. All right, I think we have fixed that. Okay, Twitch bot and chat is good again, and let's test it out. Uh, exclamation, boy. Bam. Fucking why? It says it did it. What the hell? Let me go straight to commands and I'll test it from here. Red test. Oh, it's literally just not. Um, give me one sec. I'm just gonna turn the lights on and off real quick. Maybe this shall force them to reconnect. Huh. Huh. Alright, so it looks like it's not actually even connected to my freaking Hue Bridge, so let me just reconnect this shit. Give me one sec, sorry guys. What the hell is that thing that tells you? Do you guys know what that program is that tells you all of your IP addresses connected to your network? Uh, effing. Okay, there it is. Good. So this will take like three seconds. Hacker Island. Well, that's the problem. I can't even pick a color. That's the, that's the actual issue. They're just white now. And you know... We can't have that, fellas. We can't. But anyways, uh, while this is loading and shit, I'm just we're gonna play and we're gonna figure it out as it gets installed. All right. So I'm not actually even sure where we're supposed to go. Oh, anyways, I almost got a new spider today. I was pretty excited about it, and then the spider wasn't there when I went back. It was a lime green translucent jumping spider. The shit was cool as hell. That said, it was a female, and the male version of the spider is terrifying. Like, I would never in my life pick up one of these things. But the female one's cute. I'm like, oh, you know, you're a little creepier than most jumping spiders, but this one was kind of cute. Have you guys heard about the new board game for uh, um, Tomb Raider? Oh my god. That shit is hilarious. Bro. It's a Tomb Raider game. Where you don't raid tombs. Because that's colonialism. <sighs> it's like we're reaching new levels. Like it's just. Rough. Like real rough. And uh. I'll, I'll show you guys the story in a little bit. But. Yeah, I know, right? Well, because they only want to make it because, one, if they made their own game, nobody would give a shit. Um, because now she's no longer a Tomb Raider. She's a Seeker of Truth. So she goes into tombs and then respects the items, learns about them, and leaves them there. Like, and then she has to change the culture of Tomb Raiders. Like, it literally said... She is doing the work to change the culture of, uh, to change, uh, Tomb Raider culture. Like, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's actually unbelievable. I'll have to show you guys. It, the way it's worded is the most cringe shit I've ever seen in my life. Father, father! Yes? Just what are you going to do? Figure. You cannot! Uh, uh. He dead. He's super dead. I'll tell you what, he dead. Yo, he dead. Next door, quickly! I realize I broke. Ow! I realize I put my fan in real quick.
Otherwise, this room is going to get filled the hell up with vape. Um, what the hell was the other thing? Oh! I don't know if I told you guys this. I watched Fallout. It's so good. It's so... Oh, it's so good. Damn it, it's so good. If you haven't, if you like Fallout at all, and you haven't watched Fallout yet, watch Fallout. It is not, okay, I'll put it this way. It's not woke yet. I don't know if it gets there. Wait, what the fuck? No, you're not gonna fucking restart now. You stupid bitch ass computer. Wait, Marek. I am up to episode three. And I have not seen anything woke you? yet. And I went in thinking it was going Just to be woke. I was like, here? where How is the wokeness? I need to find it the because lost this shit is going to be garbage. What's wrong? And Looking it wasn't. Someone to hold your hand. How does it teabag the cannon? It doesn't even take place brother. in a place that's in a fallout game. Oh, you looking for him? The damn... The people who made the show are guaranteed huge fans of Fallout. The amount of things they did that they never had to do, I'm going to talk after this. Prepare to die! <laughs> to those in my way, I grant a fabulous death. Fabulous Come. death. Receive my cold blade! Oh, we're going to have to whoop his ass? <laughs> so the first real quick so the first two good signs from fallout is when uh there's a part in the beginning where the um the main character lucy is like showing how much she's good at all of these things right showing the uh special like she's explaining to a council like all the things she's really good at and she's really good at physical endurance. She's really good at like phys ed and gymnastics and all this shit. She's really good with guns, all that stuff. You'd think that would make her a Mary Sue, which technically, if they didn't do the next part, it would. So, um, well, she's not really picking her character stats. She's like explaining basically her character stats. And, um, and then there's a part, and I'm not gonna explain how it happens or anything, but there's a part either in the first or second or third episode where she comes up against a raider and that raider beats her friggin ass like just like it's it's not even close and um eventually something better happens whatever i'm not trying to spoil anything but i gotta explain this like any woke show ever would 100 percent have her just kick his ass like even though the guy's like 100 pounds more than her it would have her like throwing him over her shoulder and like slamming him into a wall and like picking him up by his neck and dropping him on the ground like that's every show but like she was very realistically female versus male and that was dope and then the other part was uh when they were talking about the cowboy that was still doing like kids birthdays now instead of being famous the guy the one guy was like why the hell is he doing kids birthdays and the other guy was like alimony gotta pay it somehow which is also kind of base um because you know that the wokeness would never allow for you to say there's something wrong with alimony or that it costs money or makes men's lives harder you can't say any of that and they did they did they did that but also every little detail in the show is incredible like they literally like they have the brand names from Fallout. They have the stim packs. They have the Pit Boys, obviously. But even the friggin' shower curtains say the vault. It says vault, the vault number. They're blue with like white or with yellow cogs. And it says the vault number on it. Like little shit like that. They didn't have to do it. They did not Skill have to do it. Issue. And they did. Because whoever's making the show is passionate about the game. So I'm only on the third episode, but. So far, not even a hint at wokeness yet. There's maybe one part where they called, uh, I <laughs> stopped talking Grandy. Um, there's maybe one part where like the, uh, people not in the vault feel like the people in the vault are privileged, but like, obviously they would. Cause that's how I would feel too. Is like, Oh, just a bunch of rich bastards. Oh yeah, that's right. I got to put the Hue IP in. Anyways, uh, let's kill this thing real quick. Let's do this thing. 
Anyways, basically, uh, at least for the first two episodes, you're guaranteed to enjoy it if you like Fallout. Like, literally guaranteed. It's amazing. I like it a lot. Time to get this Dragon Rise, bitch! Dragon Rise and Shine. Alright, time for Fallen Wings on that ad. Holy shit, 402? That shit is strong. Alright, let me see if I can get this IP real quick. <laughs> Bitch. Just sign in with Google. I just hate that effing asks for so much information when they're about to check all your IP addresses. I don't, I'm not a fan. But it is an app that very easily gets all of your IP information, like, right away. Oh, I saw the FBI, but the lights didn't work. I did see the canceled as well. I assumed I was canceled for not having the lights working. <laughs> Uh, purple lightning. Let's find out how allergic to lightning he is. This is why Did I just attack his sword? What the hell? Yo, that's cool. Yo, Ivysaur EG. How the hell are you doing? This is my way of thanking you. Nope. Nope. I defy you. Randy, in the first two episodes, you find me something woke. Because I'll tell you what, I don't tolerate that shit. I can't. I can't do it. It's too cringe. It's way too cringe. I can't watch it. It's not possible. But I'm telling you, watch the first two episodes. And then you. I went in thinking it would be woke. Literally, my one thought was I'm not going to watch this show because it's going to be woke trash. And then... Literally, it was on a day early, and my buddy was like, let's watch this shit, and I did. And it was really good. It surprised the shit out of me. But yeah, you go watch it, and then you come back and report to me what you found in it to be woke. I'll wait. I'll wait! Strike. Purple lightning. Anyways, guys, it's good reason to be excited. Now what I'm worried about is they'll do that, like, mid-season shit, where they, like, just start peppering things in mid-season and then go full terrible by the end of it. It's kind of like Last of Us 2, except they just, they started with that. You know, Last of Us 2, you put in the game and you're already in the shit. You know what I mean? Are you sure it's called ping tools and not effing tools? Guys, I'm tech confident, not a professional. That's that's what I selected. I'm just trying to do my most powerful moves on this bitch. Oh my god, how did he kill everyone? What did I miss? What the fuck was that? What the actual fuck was that? Unbelievable. Like, what did he do? This is why you are no good. I think Diggin just lowers our defense or something. Oh, it ups his defense, like a bitch. Sounds like something a now bitch would you'll do. Be fine. True, that's that's the whole reason I, I wound up using effing, because like it's just saw a recommendation for it, downloaded it, I was like, oh okay, it does the thing. And then I was like done basically. <laughs> Yo, this guy is going to be a bitch. Holy shit, dude.
Did he kill her? We didn't die. You oh, we were supposed to lose that. Interfering. <laughs> My brother, why do you oppose me? Automata why is do near. You not simply lay down and die. What is left for you now? Do you still believe those okay, let's stupid find pipe it. dreams? Pipe dreams? Found you, bitch. But you're my brother. How could you crush my dreams and everyone's ideals? Despair wow, he sounds so different the there. He, he kind of slipped into Leonardo there. Anything you do is completely useless. Everything is pure right. fantasy. Fools. I once felt the same. Before my rebirth, you are no longer my brother. <laughs> Our hopes and dreams were cursed from the start. Give me one sec. I gotta press yeah. the button downstairs. At that star-crossed place back home. How could that be Malthus? Damn, he got away with the horns. Um, at least I snagged the claws from him. Master, are you all right? Oh, there you are. I hate when I don't realize so I'm in an unwinnable. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, that is the worst. What should I do? You waste just a ton of freaking resources. You must decide what to do. With your powers, you can live well. It is up to you. Oh shit, we're connected again. I did it, guys. I fixed it. I'm happy. Yup, we made it, boys. We're there. Hell yeah, we get the robot girl. She's definitely being switched out for somebody else. Look at his face. Is He looks like he should be from that Zelda CDI game. We shall regain our pride. We shall. He's like, you nothing but a bitch. Are we the people of darkness after all? We fought on the side of darkness long ago, but how long must we bear that burden? We... Just... Why must we... Be the people of darkness? Run. Kid, snap out of it. Don't get soft on me. Not here, not now. This sudden lap of intestinal fortitude, it'll suit you. Perhaps my memory is faulty, but I recall a lad cut from stronger cloth. Bruh! You are the one you chose to be, Rowan. Your ancestors are dead, and unless you want to join them right now... You let it the past be. Didn't you learn anything about the world when you were away from your kingdom? You're right. I have seen the world outside. I've been thinking long and hard about the meaning of people of darkness and the gate of darkness. But I see now that they're nothing more than names that keep us bound to things left forgotten. They're meaningless. We must all think for ourselves. I've had it with blindly following tradition. That is not a life. Then what would you do? Choose carefully your course. Come on, kid, spit it out. You know the answer. Friends, I want to change this kingdom so that it will no longer be bound to the mistaken tradition. I will take a stand. I will dispose of the lies and misconceptions, the false beliefs and empty ideas. We will have our lives. Nicely put, Ron. I shall remain in the kingdom. My travels end here. We're swapping out the kiddo for the robot. This is not a bad trade. Although, he better give me back my weapons and shit that I bought him. That was all rentals, kid. You're a prince. You can buy your own stuff. I'm an adventurer out here. I don't have a lot of dough. Or just give me a ton of gold. I'll take either one. I think Robot Girl and Beast Dad, I would watch that show. Grandy boys, we up! <laughs> but no, for real, the lights work again. I'm 
super satisfied with that. I was waiting for it to happen. Our beloved countrymen, it has also been a long time since the people knew the true reason for this. We do have a flag, yet no one wanted it to be seen. Reveal that shit. It has been said secretly that our country hid the gate of darkness. Behind it was said to be sealed a terrible legion of darkness. That gate has finally been opened. However, the power was nothing more than a factory that makes meaningless robots. Robots to be used as weapons. A clone army. Those seeking the power of darkness have already been driven away. The factory beyond the gate of darkness has been destroyed. By a single punch, by the way. Why was such a thing in this country? It's because we were the descendants of those who made Valmar their leader. Why and God. Such... How could such a thing be? Your Highness, what should we do? However, we are people, not the pawns, nor the tools of Valmar. Companies are now, people. Now Valmar is trying to revive. Yet what Valmar wants is not people, but only pawns. Dolls to do with as he wishes. We once hid in shame, and that kept us from dreaming of a better future. A I future spilled water we everywhere. could work towards, <laughs> together. Oh my god, it's everywhere. But our past shall control us no longer as we work with this new sense of pride to achieve our goals. I shall now raise the flag again so that we do not forget the mistakes of our ancestors. Every single time my wife is playing uh, with my son in the other room, it sounds like something's going catastrophically wrong. And it's just because she makes really loud, weird noises. And I can only barely hear it, like, through my headphones. Yeah, basically. It's pretty impressive. I could never do a thing like that. Is it proper for a sister of Granus to be involved with these people? It's all right. This is something that I must do. Up until now, I simply feared darkness and did not attempt to understand it. Now I know. We must see the world for what it is. Never. He could never defeat me. He wishes he lived in a world where that was possible. But when he does take me out for good, then he'll be a man. That has been here the entire time. No one said anything. I cannot believe you guys. I cannot believe you guys. I cannot believe it. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go the fuck away. Jeez! Oh my god. I'm just trying to post two images because I want to show you guys this damn thing. Alright, so here it is. Look. This is uh, the little guy I found today. Is there any way to make this larger? It literally doesn't. Great. Anyways. Nope. No way to make it larger. Oh well. But yeah. This is the this is a little beautiful bastard that I found today. I wish you I wish I could show you guys like a large version of that, but yeah, it's being a dick. Discord sucks. You can't even zoom in on shit. Yeah, it's like, it's it was actually like a lime green. It was super duper lime green, but also translucent. So it was just, it was really awesome. Actually, I wonder if I could show you even better this way. Nope. Wait, well, actually, bam. But yeah, it was super adorable. Now, the reason I showed you that was so I could show you this. This is the nightmare fuel that is the male version of that. Oh, 
Oh my god. All right, yeah, let me show you those. Here you go. This is the male version of that spider. Like, it's just, it's so gross. It's, it's just so friggin' gross. Here you go. There's a full picture. Look at that thing! Like, jeez! How on earth is the male and female version of something so friggin' different? It's just, I would never in my life pick that thing up ever. It, it would just be impossible. But like the other one I was, I had on my hand and it was, it was chill. It was cool. It's pretty awesome. But that is the first jumping spider that I saw that I'm actually like, Ugh, no, thanks. No, thanks. Yeah. It's weird. Cause the, the, it's got these like tubes that come out and I don't know what they're for. Like no other jumping spider has them. Maybe that's like it's pregnant making tubes. Cause the the spiders they use their hands to get up in the the female. It's really weird. Alright, where do I pick up my robot? I wanted this robot. Where do I pick it up? Like, I don't want to miss out on my robot. I must get to the island of Garland quickly and face Malphus. Alright, so that's what we gotta do. But where the hell is our robot broad? Does anybody remember what her name was? <coughs> What are you doing? You were saying something out the window toward the sky. Oh, I uh, I was just telling the late queen up there in heaven that Rowan became a king today. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Please excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Is that her name? I think I agree with you. That's probably her name. Let me actually find it. Do, do, do. Okay, uh, her name is Tio. I need to get her. I need to get her. I don't know where to get her. Like, maybe she's just going to join us, like, now. Mr. Ryudo! Where's my robot girl? Bro, you promised! Will you go to the island of Garland after all? Though Melfus is one, is of the same blood as Ryudo, I must spill it nonetheless. My fate is to face my brother. I cannot avoid it. So we must bid each other farewell. I apologize for not telling you of my heritage before. Don't worry about it. Yes, there is no need for apologies. You are still Rowan that we know, except now you're a king. Thank you very much. The ship is ready for you at the harbor. Are you sure you do not need soldiers? Have I ever needed them? Take care of yourself, kid, and good luck. See you, Ron. Good luck. I shall miss you. Lollipop Lane, your highness. Dry your eyes before your loyal subjects start to get ideas. Truly, a king must guard his tears. For those would lead for those he leads would turn them to other purposes. Remain ever steadfast. Yes, you are right. I shall work hard for my people. Farewell, my friends. Where is she? Where is she? Where is the girl? She 
She's gonna she's gonna be by the boat. It's gonna be something. I don't think the game wants you to be able to skip her. You know. Maybe she'll be the boat skipper. That might be a thing. Oh, how many of you guys saw my rant uh, on um, on Star Wars, the new game? The new game. With uh, Mam Solo. What's up, Rear Res? How the hell are you doing, man? Uh, she's probably hung, let's be honest. I imagine that's what you were trying to do, Rear Res. I wonder if it works from YouTube. What does it matter? I have said that you are to be free. What do you mean by free? It means you can do whatever you want, or anything good anyway. Plant a tree, kiss a baby, whatever. So what should I do? Fly a kite, build a birdhouse. I don't know, Mary, what are you gonna do with her? If you know not what you do, then the most prudent path would be to join with our number. Huh? She is lost in this world and knows not her soul, for it has been forgotten. Forgotten her soul? Does an automata even have one in the first place? In due course, this will be made known. She will accompany us until then, for likely her soul would not be found should she not. Well, she's not a puppet anymore. And what of your desires? Would you join with our company? Yes. Hmm. What is your name? My unit name is Tio. Well then, Tio, welcome. Yes, Master. Ah, oh, he didn't correct her. She's loving that. He's loving that. Good, man. Good. Rear res. It's, uh, it was pretty awesome. I mean, well, like, at work, kind of. Uh, but, you know, uh, I had to work on I&I &I files all day. And, like, uh, a Sega printer is a pain in the ass sometimes. But, um... Other than that, I met a really cool spider today. I almost got it, but it ran away before I was able to come back out with this suitable container uh, to bring it home. But I'll probably see it again. I've seen the same spiders a few times on the benches. I think they hang out in there. Also, uh, upgraded the container for my big-ass spider. That boy is big now. He is. He's a big boy. And I got him a new uh, container, and that was good. Because I was terrified of losing them when I swapped the containers. The song is made of lyrics. Anyone can understand them and share their meaning. When I get an earful of Coop's fun-loving attitude, I start to get the same feeling. I get so cheerful and bubbly. Yes, right, those lyrics. Must Just singing them makes me so happy. Good, good. Good to know. Where's this boat I've heard so much about? Wait, by the way, how much money did the king give us for that armor we gave him? That's a lot of gold! That's good. That's fine. Just consider it paid in full. Because I'm sorry. If I'm if I'm saving a kingdom, you better be paying me. This, this ain't... We gotta find out what we could buy the robot. The hell? That was funny. Yippee! I've got some great deals here! Is this literally, uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker? <coughs> Let's see what we can get her. Probably nothing. What kind of weapon does she have right now? We're gonna check. <laughs> now that's pod racing! Oh, jeez. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, man, it super sucks. It, it sucks he's the only one who doesn't know who did it. That's like the worst part. <laughs> it's just like... We, we all know what happened. So Moonclaw, she's got like a completely different kind of weapon, which is neat. 
I can't wait. Uh, do I have? Ooh, I do. Ooh, Mist Egg. I haven't seen this one. Damn, brother. I missed that one. All right, we can definitely upgrade this shit. Whatever she has is not as good as what we have. Guaranteed. Ooh. That's a, that a nice bit of upgrade right there. Actually, no, it's only two per one. That's pretty ass. All right. How dare you! 238. Uh, that's the... I think that one was the biggest upgrade. Yeah, that's the biggest upgrade right there. Defense, defense. All right, what you got? Sister's hat? That's worse. <coughs> I really need to get rid of this shit. Damn. All right, now we'll see what we can buy her. Nice. Put up a put up a. Wizard hat, maybe? No, that's even a downgrade. Oh, we didn't get him the Black Quartz Helm? Uh, is that worth... That's not worth it. We're going to find something better than that. Ooh, I want to put her in high heels. I don't even care if it's a downgrade. <laughs> uh, ah, screw it. We're going to get it for her. Nice. All right. Um, purple robe? Nope, her shit is better, so... Hey, at least she's wearing high heels now. Let's just make sure. Nope. Yep. She got on the high heels. We're good, guys. We did it. How many of y'all are excited for the 12-hour stream? I know I am. Already took off work. And it's on a Friday. So that means Saturday, I'm probably going to be streaming for a few extra hours as well. It's going to be tight. I'm actually legit just stupid excited. I cannot wait to play that game. I cannot freaking wait. To I can't. I, I just cannot wait to play the game. It would not be possible to be more excited for a game. So you folks want to sail on Captain Bakla's boat? The captain should be down in the harbor. Hurry up down there. We spend night. Because we all need to talk. Yay, we get to hit a robot. We're leaving tomorrow, so we need to get some rest. Say, we should introduce ourselves to Tio, and we shall be traveling together. Why bother? We'll figure each other out soon enough. No, I concur with Elena. To achieve superiority in combat, adequate information must be gathered in process. C combat No, not that, Tio. An introduction is, um, well, anyway, allow me to begin. My name is Elena. I'm a songstress of the Church of Granis. I'm pleased to meet you, Tio. Songstress? What is a songstress? Whoa, she is crazy talented. Talking while drinking that entire mug. Someone who meddles in the affairs of others without considering the consequences. Ryudo, please do not interrupt. Now, Tio, the role of a songstress is to sing the hymns of the Lord Granis, spending comfort, lending comfort to the soul through song. Notice that she hasn't been actually. Notice that. That she hasn't actually been a comfort to anyone. Apparently when she's not singing, she's supposed to be a pest. Yes, I understand. Tio, you do not have to believe him. He's a liar. Well, most of the time. But what he has said about me is not true. Well, now Ryoto has interrupted me again, but I have finished my introduction. Well, then he didn't interrupt you, did he? Did he? Caught in 4K. An introduction, is that not when information regarding system status is transmitted from one party to the other? Well, that may be true, but it might be a little different from what you're thinking, Tio. My name is Merig. I am a warrior. I seek vengeance. This is all. And my master, too. He's a master of many other things as well. 
plank baiting. Hee <laughs> that's right. He never fails to guide us down the proper path. It is difficult to begin an introduction so late into the journey. I know not what to say. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Tia will figure things out on her own. Hey, Rio, what about we finish up dinner? Yeah, it's about time. Sleep tight, kids. Get some rest. Our trip will be hard. That's true. I don't know why I can't read tonight. Like, my brain is just stupid. Let's save, because that's important. But yeah, I know you guys are usually here for Dreamcast games, and I get that, but like having a few days of Stellar Blade is going to be pretty awesome. Because I will be showcasing Jiggle Physics like you've never seen. I'm good at finding camera angles, guys. I'm just very talented at it. Oh my god, Lobster's having a stroke. Are you okay, Lobster? Wait, where the hell's the boat? I followed the directions, and it did not bring me to a boat. Bro, what are you... What the fuck? Or maybe boat this year. I've been thinking and thinking about the meaning of her new king's declaration. I stayed up all night thinking about it. So then my girlfriend gets mad and says, Why don't you pay attention to me? I just can't win. She doesn't get it. <laughs> Things must be rough for Rowan, too. He has to put up with people like you. Damn. That was hilarious. All of the, all of the buildings on the other bank are warehouses. Trading is key to serum economy. Alright, well, maybe I'm taking the royal boat. I think I know where that is. I think it's down here. Here! Literally, every time Finn says here that way, I lose it. Good grief. So, Rowan has to put up with a bunch of lackeys like that guy, eh? I can see why he does act that way, though. Rowan has a certain charm that attracts people, and he's very important now. Where's the boat? <laughs> like, literally, where is it? There's no new location on the map. I already rested for the night. I, I don't know what the game is trying to tell me I gotta do. In general store east silesia serum castle port okay i didn't know you could set it like that i don't think i've been to the port once Ooh, that's a nice ass boat let me on your boat from the front There he is. That's the guy. The new king told me about you. I be Bakala. Captain of this ship. I'll be taking you to the island of Garland. But it's a long trip over the granite cliffs. Once we leave port, we cannot return. Understand this. So my ship here be ready when you are. We can shove off anytime you wish. Hmm. The sea be calling my name. And it's been far too long since I've answered her. Take care of your business. I'll be waiting for here. All right, where? I just need to make sure there's no, like, chests. What the hell? That was cool. Very unnecessary. I like it. I love little unnecessary things that are put into games. I don't like... Not a huge fan of bad camera angles, though. Come on. Bitch, let me see around this shit. Okay, there are no secrets here, it turns out, so we can leave. Oh, 
Always so much stress when they say you can't come back. What's the next Dreamcast game, guys? This boat has numbers on its hull. Oh, maybe it's number 50 of 50 ships, or maybe that's its registration number. Huh? I see you wonder about the numbers. They be the name of the ship. She be called the 5050. Must be a cultural thing. It's probably like 50 50 chance you survive. How's the volume, by the way? Like the audio. Tight. I think it was too loud when I started. Where's the island of Garland? It's north of the Camille Sea, just across the Granite Cliffs. The Granite Cliffs? Wait, are they like in the sea? The sea splits in half and pours down into them. No one knows what's at the bottom. Hell of a lot of water, presumably. So, how do we cross? Ask the captain. Bakula seems to think he knows what he's doing. He seems to think that. By the way, I found the, uh, the Tomb Raider thing. And I'm going to read it to you real quick because it's, it's so funny. It's so stupid. Stupid funny. She doesn't look like much, but she's got it where it counts. Trust me. Oh, literally. Line from Star Wars. Nice. I'm unfamiliar with this mechanism and would inquire as to its purpose, for it consumes much of my day. That thing gets us across the granite cliffs. If you tire, let someone else take over. We must keep it up for five days. Damn. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna read this real quick. So, uh, it, so this is from the people who made the game. Raiding, as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories, involves going to ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. It operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with the means and the drive to claim ownership of artifacts, regardless of whether they have any historical cultural claim to the treasure. Later games released in the franchise have started the work of addressing this by having Lara Croft acknowledge her past mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes in contact with. She also has worked to reform raider culture and raise the awareness of her peers. Oh my god. Laura no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a Why? raider... Why is this <laughs> yeah. happening to... Why? As a raider, she prioritizes seeking out the truth. Much of the game is inspired by her humanity, struggle with heroism, and her tenacity. We believe all three aspects are an important component in creating a game that celebrates history and culture while acknowledging the respect and work required to live in a world Wounded by colonialism. Oh, just shut up. <laughs> like, it's... Dude, come on. Like, for, are you real? Like, are you for real right now? Like, it's... Uh, it just gets worse every day, and I don't know how. It's like they come out with these things, and they're like, I, I just need this to fail. Like, maybe it's like a thing where they have insurance on flops... Like, and they get money when something, like, fails? I don't... I don't actually know. Last part. Uh, in this game, we seek to continue in the work... 
in that work alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that addressed colonial themes in play and create your own stories of respect and support for the people and cultures your seekers encounter. Uh, just don't come out with the game. Just come out with your stupid game and call it Truth Seekers and then let it fail that way. Because it's going to fail either way. It's just one way people are going to be pissed off and it'll fail. Like, I, I just don't get it. It's, it's just, there's so much cringe. There's so much cringe, it's actually unbelievable. Tio, remember anything about when Melfus put the claws of Valmar in you? I seem to have followed his voice. I have no other memories. It is like I have just woken up. Otherwise, my functions are normal. Uh, yeah, she's okay looking. Yeah, I, I would say so. Uh, here, let me try to pull it up. Uh, da, da, da. Um, bleh. she's okay looking. Like, it's not bad. Her muscles are a little big. Like, her arms are kind of huge. But other than that, it's, like, fine. It's better than the universal Lara Croft that they tried to do that literally looked like Man McGee. Yeah, at least feminine facial structure. They did that. I'm sure against their will. Like, I'm sure they did not want to. And, by the way, just for the record, the more... Yeah, probably selected body type B on the character screen. And it's weird. Body type B, you can't have a shirt off. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Strange? That, like, even though it's very clearly not a woman because it's body type B, you can't have her shirtless. Sorry. You can't have body type B shirtless. Um, after I watched the trailer again for Star Wars, uh, the most wanted or whatever the hell it is, the face just gets uglier every single time I look at it. And it's not even better in motion. There was like one angle ever that it even looked remotely acceptable. Every other one, she looks like some alien gremlin male. Like, it's it's just... God, it's terrible. And then the uh, community manager for the game is going on literally blaming white cis men, straight cis white men for every single problem that exists. She's like, I woke up today and I stubbed my toe. Stupid white cis men. Meh. Like, oh my God. And she's involved. She is one of the people. It's that that game, I'm calling it right now. It's going to be super woke. It's going to be trash. The writing's going to be really bad. And it's going to be buggy as hell. That's my number one guarantee. It's going to be buggy as hell. Like, there will probably be glitches out the ass. Like, just non-stop. Nearly non-stop. Because the fact is, there's just no way that anyone talented is working on it. And it's crazy. I have seen other people say it, but like there is this guy on Twitter trying to argue that just gentle faces are harder to do. And that's why it's so difficult for, uh, for them to do females in video games. And it's like, well, yeah, but Eastern developers have no problem with that at all. They make attractive women all the time, almost every game. Like, it's weird. Do they have, like, access to some technology that we have no idea exists? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Hey, you're going to work that thing for me? Just bang away it in shifts. What the hell is it anyway? You just got to see it in action. You'll see in good time. He wants me to pump that thing. Exactly. That's There's no excuse. But this guy, this like former artist from uh, Riot Games or whatever, literally tried to lay out the case that face scans are really hard because every time there's a little shadow, you got to fix it. 
And then when you fix it, there's issues with that. And then you just get bumps and they catch shadows. And honestly, even uh, even Keanu Reeves and Cyberpunk didn't come out perfect. It's like, yeah, it was damn close. It was near. Don't even compare this alien gremlin to friggin' like Keanu Reeves in in cyberpunk it's not even close like that's not even fair of a comparison what's up pixel slapper how the hell you doing man programming games is just numbers 80085 that's true that's true that's all you got to do and then they just boom but oh that was the other thing friggin they also like broadened her shoulders they made her hips less wide they shrunk down the ass and they shrunk down the boobs and they're like it's the perfect woman it's like, ha, ha. Any idea why he put the claws in you? I was ordered to protect the facility, to oversee the production of automata, and when, and then to destroy the outside world. He said, I do not have enough power. I may not be able to use the divine sword, so these claws shall have to suffice. Melfus has knowledge of the Grand Saber. Interesting. That is all the information I currently have. It appears that Zara's prophecies are reliable. So, Melphus knew all along, the idol isn't the Divine Sword. What do you mean by idol, Ryudo? Nothing, forget it. His dissatisfaction with his own power grows even as his hunger for destruction. Like a ravenous wolf, he will turn to his cunning. I was just following orders. Have I done something wrong? The blame lies not with you, but with he who used you as a pawn. Eight double O eight five, the best of numbers. How much destructive power was contained in that plant? Just thinking about it frightens me. Enough to make my brother believe he could take out Sirem and more. Well, we destroyed that shit. So, apparently we're more powerful than that. But yeah, and the you know what the perfect example is? Um oh, what the hell is the game called? Uh Death Stranding. Death Stranding is the perfect example to absolutely shit on this guy that is saying that making female faces is hard. And so is Metal Gear Solid 5, like, Resident Evil 4 remake. Like, the chick that plays Ashley looks exactly like Ashley. Like, it's, it's, they're the same exact face. Like, 170%. So, there's actually no excuse yeah it's it's so strange how japan without our bullshit culture uh winds up just just doing it really well every time maybe it's an accident maybe they just happen upon the right can like the right uh accidental numbers and codes together that just like bah, came out perfect oh man we did it again whoops like and our guys are just like, man, we're just, it's so stressful. We can't make these beautiful, gorgeous supermodels look like anything but monsters. Wow, my job's so hard. Like, okay, all right. I'm going to go to my cry closet. I'll be back in about an hour. We got to finish this face. She needs another butt chin. Elena, you okay? I'm sorry, Ryudo. I did not know ships rocked and pitched so much. I'll go talk to the captain and see if we can stop somewhere. He said we gotta do it for five days. I don't think we're stopping nowhere. Yeah, Linda Carter looked great. Not a not a super fan of the shorts, but other than that, pretty flawless game. Every game will have spot for a face. <laughs> it's just like it's just pathetic at this point. It's 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 unintelligible. 
What should I do? Master gives me no orders. I'll tell you what you can do. <laughs> All right, where? He won't let me take over. He just won't do it. Again, there not be enough wind across the Galana Cliffs. Look, Elena can't take any more of this. Can we stop this damn thing somewhere? Guess there be no other choice. Cecil Reef should be around here. We'll bring her in there. Nice. Democracy has many avenues. This is true. Can we just, like... Stop releasing Western games for like five years. Could we just just have like a hard reset on all that? Because like there's so many Western games that I love, but like they shouldn't be allowed to make them right now because they're ruining all of them. Like it's weird that I'm actually worried about Skyrim having like pronouns in it. I can almost guarantee you the next Elder Scrolls will have pronouns in it for sure. Like, that's, that's like, almost guaranteed. And it's, like, not a thing I super care about that much. But, like, you know what's going to happen. And that will basically tell us about the rest of the game. That's really the thing. That is, like, one thing that tells you so much about the rest of the game. Like, how's the rest of the game going to be? Uh, kind of half-assed and mostly glitchy and not great and, uh kind of bad story and a lot of things won't make sense and characters will be pretty ugly so true I have a sealed copy of that game like I have not been able to play it because it's sealed like it kills me that it's sealed I am sorry I still feel queasy Captain, I think it's in everyone's best interest if we let her settle her stomach a bit. Okay, but stay close. We'll want to leave right away if the wind picks up. All right, we'll rest here. Play OT. True, yeah, I probably ought to. I'll, I'll check how much a sealed copy is going for. And I've done this before where I had a sealed copy of a game and I didn't want to unseal it. So what I did was I sold the sealed version on eBay and then bought an unsealed version and I got like an extra 150 to just do whatever I went with. <coughs> the David Bowie concerts are worth opening the seal. Very true. Yeah. Tonight, you won't have to worry about your bed slipping out from under you. No, he's sleeping. <laughs> Yo, Tyler. How the hell you doing, man? What's up, Rio? Yes, that will be nice. Oh, yeah, but uh, the title of the stream was... Um, the modern audience doesn't exist because it just literally doesn't like there is zero evidence for this modern ex audience existing anywhere. And the way that we prove that is by literally looking at any game that comes out for a modern audience and watching it fail. Because if there was this huge modern audience that is just really hankering for shitty games, then they would sell it. It would sell. Even even the noisy purpled haired whatever's on Twitter, they won't even buy the game. Like they will not buy the game. But that's who they cater to. Like they just they just cater to whoever bitches the loudest. And like most of us don't bitch. Most of us just don't buy the game. It's that simple. We just like <laughs> Alright, that looks like shit. I'm gonna meme on it for a little bit and never pay for it. Exactly. I mean, I would say sales are mostly everything. Like, if you don't sell the game, 
like you said, you can't, you can't make more games. Like, they had to close the studio for um, Square Enix because of Forspoken. Like, that came out. Brand new studio. First game. They're like, all right, we got to close the studio. We fucked up. Our bad. Our bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're all fired. Sorry. Whew. It's just... <sighs> you guys suck. What can I say? Uh, you made trash. <sighs> I know. It's hard. My, my favorite thing that people say is uh is when people say um oh but it's so hard to make games you have no idea how hard they worked on it and it's like yeah that doesn't matter because literally oh shit five stream streak nice um if uh if you go to a restaurant this is my favorite example i ever heard is The media killed Forspoken? No, like, Forspoken killed Forspoken. Like, Forspoken just sucked. Like, flat out. It had terrible voice acting. Cringy dialogue. Like, weird gameplay, I would say. A lot of nothing to do, for the most part. Just, like, running across empty areas. And, um... And the graphics, oh my god. Like, she looked terrible. Like, just awful and that was on purpose guaranteed like i saw the woman they modeled her after and she was beautiful like so what happened well they did it on purpose don't be neutral never be neutral <laughs> it's impossible nowadays because being new like all right so i could say if if i were to be neutral about something i could if they're like so if you were to tell me well all right, so you know what? Be neutral. Say the good things about Forspoken. Uh, it made it onto discs? Like, um, when you pressed X, it would work? Sometimes? Right? That's not unbiased, I think. It's just, it's just so difficult with certain things. Like, I can't... All right, so perfect example, right? I went into Fallout, the show, wanting to, like, just understand that it was terrible. And it, it I felt like it was going to be all, eh, like, weird and, like, kind of girl bossy and shit. And it wasn't at all. It's great. It's a great show so far. I'm on episode two. It's awesome. But, um... But that's the thing. Like, I can tell you a lot of good things about it. I can't tell you much I don't like in it, honestly. It seems just really good so far. But, like, there's things that come out and you just, you cannot find positives if you're a person with eyeballs and a brain, you know? These stones are strangely polished. I think they're pearls? I smell not the sea upon them. He smells really well. He's a bear, a bear lion. Can I wear a hat? Of course you can. Please, enough about the stones and smells. Let me rest. Excuse me, princess. Okay, okay. We might have stumbled across something important, but the princess needs her beauty sleep. Oh, shit. He said it. Nice. That's how I felt, and then he said it. Brains are super underrated. It's crazy how much people are just like, just turn off your brain and it'll be fun. This game's great if you just turn off your brain. Don't even think about it. Just play it. Just shut up and play it. Yo, and the pricing. Dude, the pricing for friggin' the Star Wars game. Bro, it's like $70 for the normal ass game. I think so. Yeah, I agree with that. She hot though. Um, I, I just like big eyes. I like big dash eyes, to be clear. <laughs> um but uh yeah she cute and that's the other thing that was the other thing they didn't make her ugly ah ah giving her something to look at this nice you know that's not usual yeah I agree with that uh Ryudo is is my spirit animal also I love that he has ADHD and it's very clear he does always has been
that's the thing. And and also, like, all right, perfect example. Okay. So I'll get back to the pricing real quick, but I'll give you the best example. Okay. There is there is a very clearly trans character in Fallout, the show. Okay. They don't even mention it. They don't make it a big part of the story. They don't make the person go through like all this uh, trial and hello, tribulation. <laughs> True. Uh, they don't make the person go through all these trials and tribulations and people being mean to them and like, oh, well, I can't do this because I'm this way, blah, blah, blah. You know, like it's literally just they're there. Like that's it. Like they're just there. And like you're kind of wondering like, well, is it? Maybe? Probably. I think so. And then like. There's one uh, scene where she's, like, laying in a bed or whatever, and you're like, definitely. But, like, other than that, like, it it's never even a thing. It's just another character, right? It's just, like, whatever. And it's it, it has nothing to do with the story. So while they, like, did a good thing, right, they didn't make it, like, a pivotal part of anything. It's just, like, it's diversity without, like diversity you know what i mean like it's just it's not mentioned it's the way it should be it should just be like okay there's all these different people in this world and that makes sense right but it's not like oh this person's a this thing and this person's like that and you need to be really be aware of the privileges and blah 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 and the blah it's just like yeah they're just people and that's fine and like they definitely had a chance to do it but they didn't so like that's what i like uh, let me see if I have an uh, I agree sound thing. Um, yeah, I should make one. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Shit, that wasn't the right one. <laughs> Damn, most of them are here. Well, yeah, most of them are here to uh, disagree with me. <laughs> I noticed. I'm looking over them, and I'm like, these are all mostly to disagree with me. <laughs> Damn! Brother Rich over here! Holy shit! <laughs> Pixel slapper. This should do it for tonight. Let's camp here. Around the freaking creepy stones that could be aliens. Let's do it. You're my favorite customer. There you go. That's that's the closest to agreeing with. <laughs> I'll I'll make a better one. Um Elena, for the love of I didn't know you could pack away so much food. Did you even chew it on the way down? I feel much better without all that rocking. Being on the boat made me feel rather ill. Ryudo, what does your family do back in your hometown? Me? I don't even know the meaning of the word family now. Ryudo, we already asked that, you bitch. What is this family? I do not understand. Family are the ones you share your life with, like us. This motley bunch. We are like family now. My parents died when I was little. I don't even remember them. Me and my brother, Melfus, were raised by the village chief. Melfus, though, he's no longer my brother. He's not even human anymore. He's just Valmar's pawn. That much I already know. Whatever, let's just get some sleep already. Punch the keys, for God's sakes? I have not heard that. I feel like I should have. Punch the keys for God's sake! <laughs> what the hell? What is that even from?
Yes. They friggin' they put the clip, but like it's taking so long. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're the man now, dog. <laughs> You're the man now, dog. <laughs> All right, Pixel. It's good to see you, man. Appreciate you being here. Tell your friends. Hey, where's Elena? Sky, have you seen her? Yeah, saw her go back there. Great. Probably feeding the fish like a mother bird, eh, Sky? I don't think so, smart guy. Anyway, I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah, what? Who do you like better, Elena or Melania? Damn, that's a rough question. Oh, bloody hell, Sky. What? Bloody hell. Why would he say that? What kind of question is that? This is a job, remember? I can't stand either of them. Sure. Sure. It is from Finding Forrester, by the way. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. What is with that hip sway, bro? Don't be doing that sussy shit. Elena, is something wrong? Are you feeling sick again? No, I was just watching the sea. But then I saw that thing. Oh. Valmar's moon, huh? It's like it's always staring at us. Oh, nice. Moon haunts me. Seeing it pains my heart. Stop staring at it. What the hell? Say, Helena, want me to make it vanish? Huh? How about that? <laughs> Thanks. Such a small gesture made me feel so much better. Oh. I wish that moon would disappear. I haven't seen Exorcist 2. Me too. I want to. It always disappears. It comes right back. It looks pretty good. It's so funny. My dad cannot watch The Exorcist. He literally cannot be in the same the room as that movie so being on. Beautiful. Wide and like, we used to mess with him and turn it on out. in the living room while he was out doing something else. I used to think everyone was terrified of Valmar and isolated by the Granoglyphs. Exorcist 2 is so bad decisions? that you were naive is half the battle, Elena. I guess I can't call you naive. Right now, I want to forget everything. My mission to save the world, Valmar. Oh, they're about to do it. Myself as a sister of Grannis. Tomorrow, well, right now, I want to forget a little. Just want to do something to keep my mind off of everything. Help me forget. Elena, you really do work incredibly hard. I really am planning on doing that. You're misunderstood. The very first thing Even we're though watching, though, is so definitely hard. ghost stories. I've never looked at the world the way you do. I've only wanted to forget, to erase my horrible past. You mean... Melfis? I thought I would have been happier to forget it all. But it didn't turn out Ghost like stories that. would be tight. I couldn't escape from my painful past. I... I'm sorry. I didn't see you for who you are, No, Yuda. Ghost Stories is a redub. I noticed your pain. Where... Ghost Stories... I'm sorry. 
in Japan did so poorly that they literally told the studio, we don't care what you do. Dub it with whatever you want. We don't give a shit. And oh yeah, my god, did they it. deliver. I thought it was so it's the most offensive cartoon, for this like, ever. With you, <laughs> anime, I but you know never what I mean. realized it. It's the most offensive animated thing. Thanks, Elena. Ryudo, it is I who should thank you. With you, I can be so honest. I can be so strong of heart. I'm glad I met you. Elena. It's actually similar to uh, Shin Chan in that way. I love way. this wonderful world. I love everyone who Except lives Shin Chan did really well. hard to make it better. <sighs> Thank you for cheering me up, Ryudo. Now I can work even harder. Ah. Uh, <laughs> now that's the Elena I know. Tomorrow we cross the granite cliffs. Like, I think I would actually get in trouble for playing certain parts of Ghost Stories on Twitch. Not even just from, like, a copyright perspective. Ryudo, wake up! Something's wrong! What? What? I'm up! Cripes, what is making that racket? What the hell is that sound? Oh no, there was eggs. Those things! Where the hell did they come from? Those were not stones we saw yesterday, but rather eggs. Run, everyone, run! But we cannot go back. The tide is coming. Damn it! They're coming right at us! Sounds like a hunter's excuse. They're coming right for us! They're just literally standing there. Take this, you crappy crustaceans! I want to see the move. Crap, I can't hit two of them. Well, maybe I can once she actually does the attack. Yes! Double attack. Nice. Tensei can slash! Wham! I like how the game sees them as bugs. Because that's what they are. Lobsters and shrimp are literally just underwater bugs. We all know it. We could be honest, guys. Holy crap! That's a lot of ass whooping. Yes. Take them all out. Oh. Oh. So much death. Took three of them out in that one hit. That was awesome. Uh, use the cam. Damn, we just wasted a move. Sorry, lobster. The really lobsters are really cool underwater bugs. I forget what comedian was talking about it, but he was talking about going to Red Lobster and he's like, I'll just take a bite and be like, mmm, bug butt. <laughs> I just love bug butt. Just dip it in butter and eat it. I actually just like the taste of butter. No way back until low tide. If the wind picks up and we're not there, damn it, start looking for another way back. Maybe if we use the eggs, we can get back. Okay, it's not that way. Maybe it's this way. This is a long bit of travel. Yeah, we just gotta... I just gotta figure out a time. And I think, like, maybe Saturday around 12 would be, like, the perfect time for it. Like a watch along.
Which one of you guys can commit to being there at 10 a.m. on Friday on the 26th? Anyone? Because of how early it is, I know there's going to be like no one there right away. So, you know, as many of you guys that could try to be there, that would be super awesome. Because I understand also that is going to be a day that, uh, jeez. What's killing me though is the struggle of whether I should get it physical or digital. Because digital, I can get the, um, collectors, like where it comes with the special outfits and shit. And, uh, physical, I can get the actual game. Like, and it would exist. You know? It's a hard decision. Still love the Mogay bomb. I'm never going to use all these bombs because it is hilarious that it still exists. <laughs> no, I, I think they're I think they're actually putting the game on it. I mean, if if they were somebody like Ubisoft or like uh, Bethesda. Oh, that's the other best part about the Star Wars game. I forgot to even tell you. So this game also... Internet required download to install. So the game literally isn't on the disc. Like, the entire game is not on the disc. So the moment you get the game in, in your console, you're going to then have to download the rest of the game. And also, hold on, it gets worse. Hear me out. I know you're thinking, it can't, but it does. Uh, always online requirement for a single player game. It's hard for me to explain to you how irritating that is to me. Like, it's, it's just unbelievable. It's crazy for $70 for the main one. And then there's another one that's like 95 or $100. And that one comes with day one DLC. Like you, if you took every bad practice of selling a game, you couldn't like possibly make a better version of the worst kind of practices in one game. Like, so you get Day one DLC of like two extra missions or whatever, if you pay more and a couple out and an outfit or some other dumb shit. And then when you buy, when you pay $130, then you get the full game, the extra missions that they're already done. They already made them, whatever you get the game three days early. You get a couple extra outfits, a couple, uh, clothing, whatever, and a couple items. And then you get um, a digital art book. How about that? A digital art book for $130. And I think you get a season pass as well, which gets you like the first DLC that comes out, which probably won't come out because the game's going to fail like crazy. Um, but like you just, you could not... You couldn't find worse practices. It's just impossible. Like, I'm trying to think of anything that that even comes close to that. <coughs> that was burning. Also, yes, I agree. The entire purpose of a physical copy is so that you have the game and you can play it whenever you want. But now they're even finding ways past that. And they're like, but the game, it's just so high fidelity that we can't fit it on a disc. It's just so good that it won't fit on a disc, guys. 
It's too good for a disc. Pathetic. And what's really weird too, is the exact same company was able to perfectly copy uh, Starkiller, uh, the actor that played him in uh, all the Force Unleashed games, and also the guy from Jedi Survivor, looks exactly like the actor that paid him or played him, like 190%, exactly the same. Oh yeah, because they're just like, well, I mean, uncompressed is better, right? Meanwhile, you can find lossless um, compression that just doesn't make it an issue, but they, like you said, they just don't want to do it. Because that would take them longer, and then they won't come out with anything. Actually, Sega's making a bunch of new games right now. That's one thing I was really excited about. They're making a new Crazy Taxi. They're making a new uh, Jet Grind Radio. They're making a new Shinobi game. Like... I think it's the best time for them to do it. I mean, I like high fidelity things too, but my whole thing is, uh, like, high fidelity and ugly is actually a worse thing, I think. Because then you just see the ugliness in more detail, which... It's like if you saw a really ugly person and you got this close to their face, I think it's just going to look worse. And, and like, it's funny because most of this stuff, a lot of people would forgive and just be like, fine, okay, whatever. So we got to deal with all these hoops, but the game looks really good uh, and the characters look really awesome and it looks like it's going to be a fun game. Like, it's not going to be an exact copy of Assassin's Creed, which, by the way, it will. I guarantee you it's just running on Assassin's Creed engine. Because um, I saw the part where she's, like, running across rooftops and shit. And it's just like, come on. Like, you're you're using the same engine. There's, there's no doubting that. Yeah, true. But then make a new disc media. Like... Why can't we? <laughs> it, it shouldn't be that difficult. Dreamcast did it. Sega did it. Why can't other people? <coughs> it's the same thing with like how they don't fix anything until the last day, right? So they'll ship the game with a ton of bugs and be like, we'll just do a day one patch. It's no big deal. We'll just take care of that later, right? It's because they get away with doing the whole thing where you turn on the game and then you download the rest of it. As I said, the second disc media is gone or any kind of like physical media is gone, I'm out. I'll buy really cheap games, that's it. If a game's like five bucks after it's been out for like eight months, yeah, I'll buy it digital, no problem. There's no way in hell I'm being part of a system where you pay $70 for a digital game. It's it's never going to happen. Unless it's like for a stream. Like if I absolutely have to download uh, Stellar Blade instead of purchasing the physical disc, it sucks ass. But like, I made a promise to play it and we're gonna play it no matter what. And it's just because I, the PS5 that my buddy has may be a digital only PS5. Do you know they banned PS5s by MAC address, by the way? I just found that out. You could literally get banned to the point where your, your PS5 is a brick. Like, it cannot be fixed. Once the PS5 is banned by the MAC address, it is never usable online again. You can't sign into your account. You can't download updates. You can't like play online. You can't do anything but play single player games offline, which is insane to me. That should never be allowed. 
Like that has to be a bad business practice. Cause then the person can't even sell their PS5. When I was looking for a PS5 cheap on eBay, I saw a bunch of them that were cheap because they were banned. Like, and you just, you, it's literally a brick. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think they did it based on Mac address because I've never ever seen an Xbox 360 for sale that had a banned like Mac address on it. You know what I mean? I think they banned it by IP on Xbox. Cause you would see them in the wild all the time. You would find like Xbox 360s that are just bricked because you can't sign into anything. At least I feel like you would. I got to get rid of these stupid uh, things that are going on. Refresh, that's what it is. Does he have refresh? Damn it. Damn. Green. But Lobster, I could be wrong on that because like I didn't know that they did device bans oh, on PS5 until I was searching for one to buy. Oh. Like if a PS5 is broken, fine. Like I could fix it, very likely. Like I can micro solder, it's no problem. But um, if it's if it's MAC address banned, there's nothing I can do. <coughs> We got it. <clears throat> we got to get everybody's abilities back. That seems like a waste. <clears throat> Here goes my impact bomb. It may be true for like hacked systems, maybe like JTAG systems or something. I think that's what the hacked ones are called. He's so dead. He missed all three times. How's that even possible? Gotta work even harder. But yeah, basically, just literally no one pre-order that game, please. This is a public service announcement. I would say in general, do not pre-order Ubisoft at all. Um, but like, just definitely don't pre-order this game for real. And my favorite thing is, you know how Ubisoft is the company who said, you know, gamers really need to get comfortable not owning their games, right? Like they actually said that, that's a quote from them. And uh, somebody responded, uh, made a reply on, um, on the video for the new trailer for the Star Wars game. They were like, you know, you want me to be really, un really comfortable not owning your games. And I will be very, uh, very comfortable not owning your games. Yeah, exactly. Ubisoft needs to get comfortable with not having money. Because it's just... It's like, it's one thing if it's on accident, right? If if a game comes out and it's glitchy and buggy and they did everything they could and, you know, they were really trying or whatever, like, I at least won't be mad at them. Like, if it's a new game studio and they don't know how to fix these problems but they did their best, whatever... Like, the game could still be good, some of it, you know, but it's just glitchy and you have to wait for them to fix it because they're new or whatever. But, like, this shit is always on purpose. Like, there's no accidental about it. It's like they have a mission that's all they care about and they're going to do whatever it takes to succeed in their goals. And their goals are to make non-sexually attractive women in video games. So that... And literally, I forget which company said it, but... Uh, I think it was Riot that said, like, uh, gamers don't take women in video games that are attractive seriously. Like, they don't take them serious. And it's like, that's demonstrably untrue. That's easily provably untrue. Like, just Lara Croft. Like, perfect example. But... 
gamers enjoy sexy characters. So just give them that because that's what they want. And I just don't understand with all the backlash every company's gotten for doing this shit, how they just still come out and make this crap. And then they're like, what, what, what happened? How come nobody bought it? Why did it? But guys, we made them ugly for you. <sighs> we tried so hard to make them ugly. Why not? All right, we'll try again. <sighs> and then next one's just uglier. And they're like, I made this one uglier. You know what it is? It's not that the gamers don't like our ugly women. They, they don't think they're ugly enough. That's what it is. We need to outdo ourselves because people are still sexualizing these women game characters. And they know we're not trying hard enough to fix it. That's why they didn't buy the game. Let's try harder, everyone. It's like, pathetic. But it, it's literally the thing of like, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Bro, she need to heal though. We need to get rid of his spell thing that stops him from doing spells. But it's funny because there was actually a recent poll or whatever that uh, came out that said in 2023, it was like 80% of gamers were playing games that were five years older or more. Because people have just opted out of this gaming generation for the most part. Except for select few games like Helldivers 2, Pal World. Uh, obviously, everyone is buying Stellar Blade. That is definitely a fact. Um, but yeah, people for the most part don't give a shit about any of these new games. Ooh, 383, 387. Doing big numbers, bro. The combos are nice. You better practice if you want to beat me. <clears throat> like, could you imagine how well a game would do if, if, like, a game like Grandia came out. Like right now, with like current gen graphics and all that awesomeness, but like, was a game that was actually a game and had nothing to do with anyone's like message or needs or, or like their feeling like people need to be seen or whatever. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one right there. That's going to be nice. Ugh, damn it. Ugh. It always happens that way. These things are still dead. But a minute, a minute, but a minute, a minute. Damn, I need to give her one of the mana eggs. Here goes my impact bomb. Here goes my impact bomb. Damn, it's a nice bit of damage right there. Okay, good. The controller still works. I was so worried that I yanked the controller out and it just wouldn't work anymore because this controller uh, ports are really bad and I don't know why. I probably, I probably need to replace the capacitors. There was one night uh, after we started streaming that I literally spent like 10 minutes trying to fix it. No, 15 because I had to get a different Dreamcast.
I just want to use his combo on something. Yes, so dead. Unfortunately, we only hit from the guy with that. Alright, who has the spell to, like... You know what? Um, impact bomb. Please kill him. She sounds weird when she's getting hit a lot. It's a strange sentence, I know. Oh shit, she about to die. She about to die for real, for real. She must be allergic to shellfish. I don't need all that. I could just combo. Dead! Here you go. Dead. You Did it, boys. If you want to beat me. You guys remember the division? I love that game. I think that was probably one of the best things Ubisoft had ever produced in their history of making games. I don't know about the division two. I never played it, but like the division was freaking primo. Absolutely love that game. Like, I went on it every single day and was playing it. it. It's just like, the story was good, but the main thing was the loot felt important. Like, every gun that you got felt special, and it felt like... I don't know. Like, it was, it was kind of like this survival game that just was stupid fun, really gritty. The graphics were amazing for the time. Like, I just love all the details of all the trash, like, just in the middle of the road blowing by and just it had a ton of friggin' extra details. Like, way more shit than they needed to do. Well, that's why I'm so disappointed in them. Like, they used to make good things. That's, that's one of the worst parts, is I think anybody that was working with them when they made Division has left <laughs> which is what's happening at a lot of studios it's just people are leaving because they're tired of being told that they can't do this or can't do that and then they make their own indie studios and that's why the indie games are good and the uh, AAA games suck yeah that's that's what I'm thinking because the division was great like it, it was damn it it was so good I mean, it's not even just the character. It's like everything else about it looks so mid. Like, just why couldn't they go with people we knew about in the game? Like, why can't we play as a character we know about? If you're going to make Mam Solo anyway, why not just make it Han Solo? Like. Oh, yeah, no. I, I mean, I still do blame the publishers for pricing. That's definitely people up top that don't understand how video games are purchased and how gamers feel about anything. I agree with that. That's a good distinction to make. And if I didn't see like a record of devs constantly coming out and defending the bad decisions that are made, I wouldn't even like think about it. You know what I mean? But like, there's, there's just so, it happens so often. Where they're like, these bigots online don't want to play our game because blah, 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 misogyny. Like. Where's the bone? I want the bone. Give me the bone. Wait, which bone? No, I'm looking for a healing item. Dip shit. Damn, dude. Why am I so stupid? Alright, she still does not have spells. Son of a bitch.
I don't know, because here's the other thing, right? Remember the game that got canceled? Remember the game that they were working on and then Disney bought Star Wars and canceled that game? That's the game everybody wanted, right? That was like the gritty adult Star Wars game where it was like in the CD underbelly. Yeah, exactly that. The, the trailer was amazing. Like, the shit had me hyped, man. And friggin' then Disney comes along and they're like, hey, we're a bunch of dickheads, so we're just canceling that shit. And and then we get this shit, this garbage. Like that that's what's so annoying about it, is it's like we almost had something amazing. And then I think this game is probably built off of the last one. Like as far as story beats or whatever and things like that, but then they just changed everything to make it terrible. Like, they probably use that as, like, a base for, like, the location and the time and stuff like that. But it's just, like, that shit would have been so awesome. Like, a mature-rated game with, like, blood and chopping off limbs and stuff. Uh, would have been dope. But that's the most annoying part, is you take away that and then you give us this. It's like, just stop. I mean, hey, you know what? It's good. It's good for all of us because the more they do it, the more they could see it fail, the more the shareholders get tired of not having their money double up, and the more they have to make their tough decisions and fire everybody that sucks. You know? So it might be a good thing. This might be like the purge of terrible games and terrible game developers and terrible artists. And just, just get them all out. Just all of them. Not the ones that had to do stuff against their will, where, like, they have people above them going, no, you gotta give her a butt chin. Give her the Chad chin. And give her super sharp jaws. Or she, her jaws need to be able to crush diamonds. Just do it. Oh, this thing's super dead. Please, take this. Yeah, and I think the only reason Ubisoft is getting any attention is because it's a Star Wars IP. Like, that's it. Feel Earth, feel if this weren't a Star Wars game, nobody would give a shit. It's just this constant, like, what you see and what's, I think, so annoying about it, it's this constant, like, failing upwards. Like, all these companies and all these people involved with these bad decisions keep failing upwards. Like, for me, it's like, if if there was a specific company that made me have to close a game studio, I would make sure not to hire them again. I'd be like, well, you know, I had this company do consulting on this game, and no one bought it, and the people who bought it laughed at it and made fun of it nonstop. You know, maybe that's not a good track record, but they just, they don't worry about track records. They're just like, eh. It's whatever. But it's those ESG loans that keep bailing them out. But eventually, they're going to run out of money and they're going to have to pay back those loans. So then they're either going to have to close Nothing shit down, fire people, or place. make good games. Those would be the only choices. And as long as gamers don't actually buy any of this crap, that's, that's the only choice of what could happen. So, it's on the horizon. We're going to have good games eventually. That's awesome. Did you see the uh, the Triple I um, game trailers? Like, it's instead of Triple A, they do Triple I for, like, independent big games that are coming out. You know what? <clears throat> if you guys aren't doing anything tomorrow, we're all going to watch the Triple I uh, games event. If you guys are down for that. Um, because there were some really cool trailers on that for some really cool ass looking games. 
And I think <clears throat> that's what's going to happen is you're going to see independent studios grow and they'll be printing money because they're making good things. And then the AAA studios will just go under. TF is MTG. Oh, Magic the Gathering, tight. I miss Magic the Gathering. I got so good at that shit. I was amazing at that for a while. Actually, on the Xbox, I got every single trophy for that game. Or Xbox 360 or whatever. Yeah, you know what? Like, every time I play Magic the Gathering on my 360, I load it up every once in a while. It's so nostalgic. Just the music and sound effects, and it's like... It's pretty perfect. Like, the way they did it, it's it's just perfect. I, I don't think they could have done that any better. I gotta remember to do refresh every time, because I keep forgetting. keep also forgetting to equip her damn thing. Oh wait, maybe I can equip it. Damn it, I can't. Well, combo time it is. Oh, this one's dead. Wasn't that in Japanese? Because I wanted to play that. And I think it's like not translated or something. Like. Bro, that's the other thing. Like, freaking, even Magic the Gathering is not like immune to this shit. Like, even Dungeons and Dragons is trying to get rid of races. Like, differences in races and shit in the game. I'm sorry, what? Because they're like, no races should have, uh, you know, uh, advantages over other ones. No race is genetically superior. And it's like, you're talking about literal differences in species. Now they call it like ancestries or whatever, which is actually worse. Like it's actually worse. Because now we're not talking about a different species or race of, of, like, bipedal being. Now we're talking about, like, their bloodline and shit. Which is, like, it's got to be worse. Yeah, true. But isn't Pathfinder, like, the official expansion for it or whatever? I'll be honest, I haven't played D&D in a while. Oh, I actually remembered to do it. Hell yeah. Everybody getting their spells back, brother. Protect. But yeah, and it just it just doesn't even make sense for Dungeons and Dragons. It's so stupid. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think that's definitely seeping into, like, official D&D as well. Like, without a doubt. It's it's going to be there, all of it. And, and here's the thing. Here's what's great about it. What's going to happen is, like we said, they're all going to fail. Because it's very clear that most people don't want this shit. And you know what's crazy, too? I saw a thing where Disney or or Ubisoft or whoever hired a bunch of uh, bots to talk about the game. I'll show you guys the uh, the screenshot of that. But dude, they all say the exact same thing about the game. They're like, so excited for this new game and new technology from NVIDIA. It's going to be great. I can't wait. So excited for NVIDIA's new blah, blah, blah technology. Going to be great. And like, 
If this was popular and people wanted it, they wouldn't need bots. But they have thousands of bots. Like, fake hyping it up. Against these guys, the the, uh, the combo is going to be way more powerful. Oh, here you go. I found it. So tell me if this sounds the same. Excited to see enhanced graphics in action. Can't wait to play it. Exciting news. Can't wait to see the gaming experience with DLSS 3 and RTX and Star Wars Outlaws bring on the advanced tech. Awesome news. Can't wait to experience enhanced graphics in Star Wars Outlaws. That's awesome. Can't wait to see it in action. Exciting games. Exciting times for Star Wars gamers. Exciting news! Can't wait to see how DLSS 3 and RTX enhance the new Star Wars Outlaws experience. That's awesome news! Can't wait to see the game in action with those advanced AI features. Exciting times ahead. That's awesome! Looking forward to experiencing Star Wars Outlaws with the new AI tech. Exciting times ahead. That's awesome! Can't wait to experience gaming magic with advanced AI tech. Like, not only does it just sound like bots regardless, but they all say the exact same thing, but just in different ways. What's up, Cerulean? How the hell are you doing? Um, like, legitimately, these are all, these are all tweets by people. And also, they're all verified accounts. Well, most of them are verified accounts, so you can imagine how expensive that is. So the fact that they they feel like they need to do this to have any good press whatsoever because everyone's destroying it it's like yeah we're winning we're we're the majority we just are like people that don't want any of this are the majority and these bots can't buy the game so it's going to do poorly and i can't wait to see it it's going to be fun because, again, there's a female protagonist, so you know what's going to happen. Then they're going to be like, these evil gamers are just misogynists. They won't play the game because there's a female protagonist. Like, just waiting for it. Waiting for the Kotaku articles to come out bitching about it. Nobody will give female protagonists a chance. Just like when Laura Croft... Oh, no. Uh, just like when Samus Aran... No, no, that's not right. <laughs> like just listing every successful female protagonist like it's crazy impact bomb what is nightmare ball let's put these bitches to sleep yo dylan how the hell you doing man just talking about that new shitty star wars game How you doing, man? Yes, I agree. Was it dope? No spoilers. I'm definitely watching it. Stuff of nightmares. Stuff of nightmares. Sleep, bitches. Damn. Got all of them. Literally all of them. Uh, this bitch woke up because he got hit. That's not fair. Dude, I want to watch Godzilla Minus One so bad. When is it going to show up on very legal streaming services? Well, yeah, no, of course. I'm talking about, like, a good version. Because there are so many times that they'll literally get 
like the preview copy that is sent to another country or the copy that they put in the movie theater and then somebody just copies it. Damn. I couldn't imagine watching that in IMAX. There are movies I've watched that were literal cam rips. Like, it just depends. If it's a comedy movie, I'm like, ah, whatever. You know, I don't really care. But if it's a movie where I'm like, I want to be like, look at those graphics. You know what I mean? I got to see it for real. I caught them unawares. These bitches are dead. Why is it always the one that's furthest away that's gonna attack first? Why you gotta be so difficult? Impact bomb! Here goes my impact bomb! Impact bomb! Horny toads, just notice that. <laughs> I love how their mouth like splits open like that. <laughs> Probably from a flea market. I know that's where people sell a lot of that stuff. Dude, flea markets are just friggin' free for alls. Like, you could sell anything. They're like, yeah, we're just selling gas masks, grenades, and boots. What do you want? Flea markets used to be great for getting deals on like Dreamcast games, but ever since eBay and like getting super popular, it's just, it's crazy. Like it's eBay prices. I remember arguing with somebody once because they had a copy of Shenmue. And at the time, Shenmue was going for about like 40 bucks on eBay. And I went up to him, I was like, hey, how much for Shenmue? And he's like, oh, just 40 bucks. And I'm like, bro, that's literally the price it is on eBay. And he's like, yeah, but you know, it's here. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want it. Like I came to a flea market for flea market prices. So it should be like 20 because I literally had to come to a physical location to purchase it, which is obviously more inconvenient than going on eBay where I can return it. Like I can't return it if I buy it from you, but I'm looking for the price of an item I can't return. So, are you gonna sell it to me for like a reasonable price? He's like, it's 40 bucks. And I was like, well, good luck, man. Everyone's gonna buy it on eBay. Unless people just don't know the price, then maybe they'll buy it from this dipshit. But like, that's always so annoying. It's like when you go to a yard sale and people are charging a lot. I'm like, it's a yard sale. <laughs> uh, sometimes they don't. <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> Just give her back the disc. I have never seen the spirit. I don't even know what that is. Give me one sec. I gotta get the wife to make me some coffee.
404, wife not found. WTF. Her ass is asleep. <laughs> like, who told you you could go to sleep? It's coffee time, lady. Either way, she did set it up for me. So, you know, I just had to press a button. But, can't believe I had to press a freaking button like some kind of bachelor, you know? Start making me make coffee like a bachelor, I might start acting like a bachelor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, fella? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, all right, so let's kill this bitch. No, that seems like overkill. I think that would kill over too much. Uh, kill this one. Yes, that one's dead. They're both they're both all dead. Nothing withstands my blade. Actually, facts, lobster. The way she presses it, it's with love. Um, the way I press it is with self hate. So, you know, just like fucking cough. piece of shit. No, you didn't surprise me, bitch. I knew you were there. Don't you tell me it was... No way I was surprised! You are such an asshole. <laughs> what a dick. Seriously, though, on a serious note, I legit will never make food if she's home. There's no way. I'm never going to waste my chance to eat her food. I won't do it. That's just, that's just bad business. That's just stupid. If you do that, you're stupid. Oh crap, I'm all out of holy will room salve. How will I salvage this situation? But a minute in a minute. But a minute in a minute. But a minute in a minute. Bam. But a minute in a minute. Bro, everybody needs healing. What the hell? Please, take this. <laughs> I like how she says that to herself. Coffee machine in the game room, true. That is unfortunate. I've told y'all uh, my experience with illegal movies, right? Like, my experience with uh, Star Wars Episode One made the game, or made the movie much better. It actually made it a lot better for me because I had a VCD that my brother brought uh, home for me from Afghanistan. And uh, he brought it for me and it was a blue CD. Like the, the actual disc part of the CD was like this aqua blue or whatever. It wasn't like a normal CD. So I throw it in my computer. I downloaded some kind of video player for it that he told me to download. And I put it in and this is like my first computer ever. So it was a big piece of shit. So I would get to watch. Now there's no tracks, mind you. You can't skip to like track two, three, whatever. It's one track. So if you press play and there's no fast forward. So literally, it can only play. So I put it in, I watch it for about 10 minutes, my computer freezes, shuts down, whatever. I watched the first 30 minutes of Star Wars Episode One, likely over 50 times. And I watched the first 40 minutes, probably over 30 times. And uh, I watched nearly to the end of the movie, like, six or seven times and it finally got to watch the entire movie one day i almost cried like i I, li I can't even tell you how happy i was this shit was my mission i was a kid so it was like the only thing i cared about is watching this because at the time it was still in theaters like it was insane that he had it like i didn't i didn't even understand where he would have gotten it from like i had no other method of watching this movie and I love Star Wars, and I'm like, I need to watch this. And um, so, yeah, it's literally the first 30 minutes are, like, by heart. Like, it's it's crazy. Um, but, like, the need to finish watching it makes me love that movie so much more. Because I appreciated every new second that I got to watch of it. I was like, oh, my God. Is that, that's what a pod racer is. Holy shit. And then he would go around a turn, and I didn't get to see it. Because it would cut out. I'm like, oh my god. If only... <sighs> Alright, we gotta find out what happens. No, watch it again. 
This is like probably like a month and a half, two months of this. But it, it generated an affinity for that movie that I think most people couldn't appreciate. Definitely combo, obviously. That shit's gonna kill this bitch in one shot. Oh, looks like he went weak ass with his combo. I equipped the new sword, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh shit, we still need to heal uh, our people. Damn it. Oh no, we got to heal or we'll die surely. More moon salve. More moon salve. Nice, Dylan. Coffee's a good choice. I just, I just, it's not only that I love the flavor of coffee, it just makes everything a little bit better, you know, which sounds kind of like an addiction. I'm pretty sure most people uh, with drug addiction say that too. They're like, man, if only I had a little bit of whatever drug. It would just make everything a little bit better. Which is probably right. Probably accurate. Uh, let's heal her up. And let's heal her up. We're in the Thousand Gang, and these chicks are over here at 800. Like, what are you guys doing? Here, back. I'm going to go grab the coffee.
I um I decided to pee while I was down there. Um, but yeah, definitely this music is awesome. So, like, it's weird. So when you have a phobia, right? You're very aware of it, and you know things to avoid to not trigger that phobia. But like, it's really strange owning like nine spiders at this point with arachnophobia because those spiders are fine. They can even surprise me. I've gotten surprised by jumping spiders when I'm like moving something around and then I just see the little guy there and he like jumps up and then he's like near my hand and I'm like, ooh, are you going to land on my hand? That would be really cool. And like, that's fine. But like the one day this week I was moving stuff around in the room and I moved something on the shelf and a normal spider like just showed up there and it was like at least 12 it was like a foot away from my hand and I still freaked out and dropped everything that I was holding like it scared the shit out of me there's just something so visceral about seeing a normal disgusting shitty spider um but it's so weird because you 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 have this feeling like oh well i'm not really afraid of spiders anymore i have a bunch of them like they crawl over my hands whatever and it's perfectly fine but then like you start moving shit around and you're not worried and then you see one and then you drop all the shit you have in your hand and it's just impossible it's just really weird because like normally you would just be very aware of it You'd be like, yeah, uh, I cannot stand in closed spaces, so I'm not going to go into any enclosed spaces. And I know that if I go into one, I'll be freaked out. But I was really just hoping that these spiders would be a gateway to me not being afraid of spiders anymore, but it's not true. It's just not true. I wish it were, but it ain't. It just ain't. Dang it. That's some good coffee. This is a hell of a trail, damn. Ha! Nice. Sick callback. I mean... I don't know if I could handle that. <laughs> Dude, you just put the fucking vision in my head, you son of a bitch. How dare you? So guys, do we need like a refresh on the... Yeah, the comic is terrifying. Do we need like a refresh on the sound files and um, video files and shit? Because I can't add new ones until I get rid of old ones. I have crippling depression. Um, and like, I'm not saying you have to, whatever. I'm just saying I notice people use them a lot less nowadays. And I assume it's because they're old. Uh, and my guess is y'all might want some new ones so that's kind of mostly what i'm asking is if you're my you favorite customer i think it would be good to get rid of some to add new ones additionally would you have requests for any because there's some shit i've been thinking of but it's dead yes killed you stupid ass toad ass toad <laughs> lol Oh no, she's awake. The wife is awake and she's on Instagram. She doesn't know I can see it on my computer, but I can. Yo, BX Jackie. How's you doing, man? BX Jackie, have you seen the trailer for the new Star Wars game? Of 
nightmare. The purpose, bitch. See me right there. See me rolling. That's rolling. Cause I got my light on my dick. See me nightmare. Then in nightmare. Now, song stuck in my head. Beautiful. Kill these things. Make them dead. Super dead. I keep forgetting that his new axe is not special with frogs. It's only special with uh, crustaceans. Anyway, so basically, just go watch Fallout. Like, you should watch it this weekend. Everybody should watch Fallout this weekend. Especially if you liked Fallout. You cheating. They're going to say, surprise, because he jumped on top. I knew it, you cheating little bitch. Your ass is going to get it, though. Once we're done getting our asses beat, you guys are going to get it. <laughs> yeah. I got an ogre slaying knife that does plus nine on ogres. Am I getting drunk? Yeah, no, I, I got the reference. Are there any girls there? You're not even in the room. What are you asking for? Just if there's any girls there, I want to do them. That's one of the best, like, old ass videos that exists. Please let us just tear through these bitches. Dead. Dead! Sopoon isn't real? No, it's not, apparently. Don't you do that stupid ass move, you jackass. Jagoff? I remember Jagoff. I haven't heard that in years, though. That was one that I remember hearing a bunch when I was younger. Look at this Jagoff! <laughs> It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> Sorry, it's my James. I think I'm gonna get her to just heal everybody. Especially that. It's like, bro, just nailing it. Just nailing it. Healer, I barely knew her. I think he has heal all. Which is the tightest move. I like how they say restore restore some HP, restore a lot of HP, restore a whole lot of HP. They're very vague with it. Good shit. We get to do this before we have to leave. This heals everybody completely up. I always forget Blood that exists. Sugar zero seven one six. <laughs> Blood sugar zero seven one six. Hilarious. I guess she was doing a blood sugar reading. You missed, bitch. 
Looking like a fool with the pants around your ankles. Alright, once we get out of battle, we gotta heal all these status effects. Hoarding mid status by cheating the system. <laughs> You're gonna ruin the whole Mitzeta economy! Just flooding the market with Mitzetas! One of my favorite, um, like, World of Warcraft stories is how World of Warcraft, uh, had basically this huge problem with people getting their accounts stolen because of people getting through two-factor, um, authentication. And once they figured out how to get through two-factor authentication, all these different uh, gold farming people wound up stealing a bunch of people's gold. And it basically wound up flooding the market of WoW with, like, a ton of extra gold, which was making the gold almost worthless. Um, but what's crazy is the reason they figured out how people got past the two-factor authentication is literally because one of the gold farmers that was going to do it realized that all their gold was going to be worthless so then they contacted blizzard and let them know how people were getting past the two-factor authentication to put an end to it so that what gold they had was still worth anything and then they fixed the system they got everybody their gold back and then the gold was worth something again and then they went back to gold farming but it's just, it's hilarious that they were like, yeah, so here's how they're doing it. Because this shit is making our gold worth nothing. True, yeah. It probably still is. <laughs> oh yeah, because people in Venezuela would get a job just farming gold. I don't think that's a... Dude, the WoW Plague was the most amazing thing ever. The fact that, like, uh, um, researchers and pathologists still use it as, like, a model for how a, a plague or a virus can spread. It's pretty incredible. Also, love the dickheads that, uh, that were spreading it on purpose. Oh, yeah. Never go full commie. Never even really go half commie. The lesson is never go commie. I should never attack with anything but combo with him. Yo, Hootre! How the hell you doing, man? This is like an amazing battle system for real. Because you have enemies that are about to attack and you can stop them from attacking by using a critical on them if you do it in time or you can even stop them in the middle of an attack uh, plus you have like a ton of different moves because I actually played through half really bro this is some of the best music what do you mean this shit gets me pumped every time I hear it but I mean music is taste based so you know like, it may, it may not be to your taste of flavor, which is understandable. It's something that's very subjective. When it's like... This part. So good. So good. I would say <laughs> 420 plays. Um, I would say it's objectively good music, but just like somebody may not like bacon 
even though it's objectively delicious. It's possible. Huh. Anyway, so Trey, how you been, man? By the way, I don't know when Hu Trey's streaming again, but just so everybody knows, Hu Trey is in the middle of streaming Shenmue. Uh, I was watching him yesterday. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Follow him, sub to him, do all the things. Um, just check him out, man. Go watch him. When are you streaming next? Oh, nice. Yeah, do a lot of things to me, everyone. <laughs> nailed it um okay so yeah everybody keep an eye out on thursday and sunday <laughs> gotcha but yeah this game's this game's tight and it's kind of based it that's that's one thing i've liked about it a lot like some of this shit ryudo says is top tier oh yeah there's a great story it's been amazing like right now i'm kind of stuck on this island so we just we're looking for the boat but yeah there's there's voice acting there's fmvs so the sto bro that is the story of life dylan that is the story of life that's what we're all out here doing every day. All right, so healer or... Yo, that's a death loss. Faux show. All right, so... Let me use healer on someone I can't. It's useless to do it now. All right, let's kill this group. All right, so this one's the next one that's going to attack. So we're going to hit him with a crit, and that's going to stop him from being able to attack. Uh, let's see. We could stop the next one. Oh, shit. He's really going to attack soon. I don't know if we can stop him. Yep, yep. He's going to attack first. I knew it. But uh, big man over here, he has three hit combo and he has an axe specifically made for chopping these bitches up. One shot at him. Well, three shot, but one turn. You know what I mean. How slash. All right. Uh, refresh. Does anybody not have the magic skills right now? Aren't most Rob Zombie movies? Oh, I read the question as its own statement, and I was like, aren't most Rob Zombie movies? And I'm like, hold on. I could not understand the question. Yeah, House of a Thousand Corpses was... It was a Rob Zombie movie. Didn't Rob Zombie direct the really good uh, uh, Halloween movie, though? I feel like it did. I thought it was really good. I liked it. Protect. Could have been the time he came out or when I watched it or whatever, but I, I thought it was nice. Ten say can slash. Can slash. Oh, also, uh, Hootre. Almost every voice actor in this game is from Metal Gear Solid. Like, legitimately. Like, uh, Cam Clark is the main character. The guy who did the voice for um, Colonel Campbell is really, bro. Oh my God. You have to play that shit. You literally, oh my God, it's so good. It's such a good game. Damn. I'm jealous, actually. One of these days, I'm going to remember to equip her damn uh, mana egg. Nothing withstands my blade. Wait, what? <laughs> Sucking toes. Try 
True, true. That might be true. I, 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 I believe that, Hootray. That sounds right. Equip it. Ah, shit! <laughs> you were exactly one second too late, Cerulean. I appreciate it, though. Damn it. We almost made it, boys. <laughs> we almost made it. Damn. All right, next time. <laughs> This, this wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh yeah, she hurting. Fair squirting. Of wound salve. A squirting of wound salve. Jeez. Jeez. I just want to be able to do it because of how awkward it would be. I would just be like standing there like... Why the hell do you want me to do this? Like, I literally wouldn't even understand it. I'd just be like, why? You're so weird. <laughs> All right, this one's gonna extra die. Um, no, everybody's still fine. Fine. Mo gay bomb. Still the best. You're still the best around. <laughs> Mo gay bomb. It's time to blow up. It's a Mo gay bomb because it blows. Up. Oh. No, not this crap. Very short. Like I said, I wish I was, man. Porn would be everywhere. I would love that. Bro, if I could have a foot fetish, I would love that shit. Bro, it would just be like going to the beach, nobody's wearing shoes. It's like everyone's naked. That would be fantastic. Please give me that. Like, that's gotta be the most convenient fetish ever. Did that really just not even affect him? Ten second slash. slash. Huh. Maybe, maybe when like people are being made in the womb, like that, that part of the brain gets like connected wrong. And that's why they're like, oh my God, feet. <laughs> I imagine that's how foot fetish people are. Feet. Oh my god, do you see the cleavage on her feet? She was wearing sandals. <laughs> it's gotta be it. It's gotta be exactly like that. Yes, and did you know that the gentles and the gums are made from the same cell? So, like, if a girl smiles at you, you know exactly what color inside is the more you know you know what I'm saying all right where is the thing not always no they aren't <laughs> I'm talking about inside a very specific area, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. The vagine. The vagine, fellas. The vagine. If you look at her gums, you'll know what color the vagine is. Not always, Dylan. Jeez, you're so white centric. <laughs> but Dylan, not always, literally not always, because people don't always have pink gums. And if they don't have pink gums, they don't have pink anything else. <laughs> FBI, open up! Oh God, they found me. 
They found out. But no, anyways, it comes from the same cell when you're born or when you're being made. So that's just an interesting thing to know. Um, just watch literally any porn ever. You sure about that? You sure about that? Very. Are you sure about that? Very. Uh, brown and like brown, pink and purple. Well, not really purple, but like a uh, purplish brown. You're my favorite customer. Anyway, how is your sex life? Like a grayish brown? Can I take that no, they're no, they're can totally I take the same. <laughs> I mean, they've been through more. They've definitely uh, gotten the miles in, but it's funny. I used to think that like when there's stuff hanging, it's from like over stretching or whatever but it's actually just Women. like they're either like that or not <laughs> I love that video but yeah I, I just always I always thought the, the curtains were from like overuse or something like that but it's actually just like it is either that way or it isn't like always how dare you No, I'm talking about like house curtains. Like if people put up curtains in their house, like they're either just always there or they're not, you know? If they're gonna put up curtains. I just love that. They're always like open. <laughs> Since Twitch changed their shitty rules. Wait, what was it? I can't even see it. Why the hell can't I see it? It doesn't actually even say it. Uh, are you talking about like gape? Cause that's, that's different. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so funny. Just go up to Twitch. Why are you gay? Yo, you know what's crazy? Um, Putre, when I joined your stream the first time, it literally told me that uh, it was like, are you sure you want to join this stream? Uh, there's violent language and profanity and uh, sexual themes. And I'm like, that cannot be based on the game. Like, it's crazy how Twitch judged you like that. I mean, they're probably right, but like, still, it's so weird that they put you on a list where like only 18 year olds can watch me or can watch you. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it like listened to what you said and used like the auto text generator to like, what happens if you don't put it and you are for mature audiences? Like, are they just going to ban you? Like you said the F word seven times and you said you're not a mature streamer. So you're gone. I'm a deer. Some will get that. Some of y'all member the deer.
<laughs> Who trades just like, I've been trying. <laughs> There's always kick. There you go. Great minds think alike. I also have a kick account and a, um, uh, what the hell is the other one? Fucking. The one that, that's like YouTube, but freedom of speech is on it. Damn it! My brain's just completely being stupid. The green one. I watch, um... Um... It's the only place I can watch Ricada Law. Rumble! There it is. That's the one. Love Rumble. Rumble is the shit. I started uploading uh, Dreamcast up videos to Rumble. I have like five of them on there. I just need to put more. Like the shit they get away with on Rumble is amazing. Like some of the things I've heard on Rumble are incredible. It is literally the based network. Most of the things on Rumble, you would be instantly banned off of YouTube for saying. He is on YouTube, but he puts all of his stuff on Rumble first, and there's things he puts on Rumble that he does not put on YouTube. Plus, he keeps getting banned from YouTube. Ha! Huh. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you know, she might be kind of base. She might just agree. I just love the statement, not ideal. <laughs> I have to use that someday. That's amazing. Like, I just killed my wife's cat. Not ideal. <laughs> There ain't a big enough camera, brother. What the hell was she doing over there? She was so lost. She wasn't even facing the battle. And the thing didn't even attack her. It just went up to her like, meh. I love getting those at work. They're the best. You just got to start it first. That's all. Frogs, stupid frogs. Huh. Nice. All right, we need to get our abilities back. This is crazy. We're friggin' sitting here poisoned like dumbasses. When we have plenty of freaking poison antidote. I don't even know how she has so much HP. There you go. <laughs> oh, nice. There you go.
<laughs> it's the small things. That's how to keep everything awesome. You know what I mean? Like, whenever you're, whenever anybody says, like, oh, don't get married, you'll never have sex again. I'm like, mm, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not doing it, so I guess that's a different thing. <laughs> right, poisoned antidote. What if there was a poisoned antidote? Like, would that just, like, cancel itself out? Like, could you not be charged for anything if you gave somebody a poisoned antidote? Nice. Oh, uh, well, not nice, but fix that. <laughs> Prutre, you ever heard of uh, Ryan Stone? Look him up. You will like him. Mitz ads. <laughs> like, not only is he super based, but there's a lot of good shit on that. Trust me. Rhinestone's one of the best YouTube channels on YouTube, period. <laughs> Mitz ad ditches. Mitz ADHDs. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, no, Rhinestone hates that guy. You're talking about, um, uh, why the hell can't I remember his name? He hates, uh, Rhinestone hates all like, uh, like self improvement channels and shit. Like, damn it, why the fuck can't I remember his name? Ah! I mean, it'd probably be best not to mention his name on here anyway, but still. Um, what the fuck, dude? Somebody please say his name so my brain can stop restarting. You guys all know who he is. Damn it. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, I'm, I'm talking about, like, the guy that uh, got in trouble in jail no it's a uh, r-i-a-n he spelled it that way for search engine optimization yeah it's r-i-a-n he's got some amazing books too This bitch. Can say can slash. Kits me though. <laughs> Got him. Can I pet that frog? Can I pet that frog? Oh damn, I missed the booty shot. Son of a bitch, the cameraman did me a solid in everything. And I just wasn't there. I wasn't looking up. Dude, it is so annoying that uh, AI just thinks I mean mistletoe whenever I put in Mitsukito. Anyways guys, welcome to mistletoe streams. <laughs> that is hilarious. I did. 
I did. This is the only reason I'm so sure about it. I could be wrong, but it was only accurate 100% of the time. There was a girl that I dated at one time specifically because of her smile. And it worked out. For about like four weeks, something like that. But I was right. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, well, we should probably kill this one first. Oh, no, we're going to use his magic. Well, we can kill this thing first. Uh, she does not have a healing thing. Oh, cool, he's dead. Um, maybe I should switch weapons. Damn it! Alright, now I can heal everybody. Oh shit! I don't have any. Damn it! That was not expected. Alright, well now we start have to start healing people. Wait, do I have an item that can refill that shit? Oh, that's good. Bum, ba -da, bum, 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 ba -da. <laughs> Mistletoe above the butt is probably the most creative way uh, to say kiss my ass. I've never heard it, but it's smart. Alright, this dragon bitch is so dead. Let's try and use this other item on him to give him more. Uh, where is it? Yes. Give him more power so he can heal us. There you go. That thing should count as a dragon. Lunacy egg? Oh, damn it. She's got the Dreamcast sushi on her face now. Son of a bitch. Alright, now I can save everybody's life. Bam! Everybody's better. Well, after she does this shit. You're a dragon, Harry! No, don't screw me, you bitch! Damn it! I was just about to save everybody! Let me friggin' do the thing I'm trying to do! Or everybody's gonna die. Oh, thank god. Don't worry, everything's fine. It definitely almost wasn't. Like that almost turned out really bad. Kill this bitch. Blood sugar zero seven one six. That's such a weird thing to say when you're healing someone. Dude, these guys are literally canceling all my attacks. It's crazy. All right, now they're super dead. You better practice if you want to beat me. Huh. Hacking the source code of the universe to heal people. Damn it. I didn't know she was a robot. How dare you tell me? You bastard. She looks so real. I think that's what Japan's going to switch to. It's probably just going to be all sex bots.
Oh shit. Did you guys ever hear about the, uh, the, uh, um, feminist versus chauvinist uh, civil war that's happening in South Korea? It's actually insane. I kind of just heard about it today, but it's like, it's literally to the point of doing almost like, like, it's literally to the point of violent acts. Like, it, it's crazy how insane it is there. Like, so, basically, there's this gotcha game, right? And some Korean gotcha game. And this company was not making any sexy characters whatsoever. But, like, they started making slightly sexy characters. And then they made uh, one character that had um, basically just a tight bathing suit or whatever. And that was, like, all that was required for uh, basically women got mad. And then they changed it and they made it more conservative. And guys there got so mad that they went down to the office and they forced them to fire whoever was responsible, which they figured was a woman responsible for the super conservative bathing suit in the gotcha game. And they like went down to the offices and started destroying things at the offices of this game creator, uh, of this game development company, whatever. And uh, they caved to the demands and it, it was this whole violent like battle but yeah literally over a bathing suit in a gotcha game like that's that's how crazy it is there dude if it was mitt studios it would be all sexy characters i don't care male or female everybody would be a sexy I would just take all the money of all the people. That's it. Just be like, hey, if the girls want to play the games, there's going to be sexy guys. If there's guys who want to play the games, sexy girls. If there's whatever persuasion, I don't care. You're going to find something in this game that you're going to be like, damn, that's hot. And that's like my honest, my least favorite thing that people say online that's probably the most irritating thing is when they think that gamers want attractive game characters just to bait to as if that's a thing like no it's just we want to look at something attractive like it's why would you want to stare at something that's unattractive for like 50 hours or however long it takes to beat the game oh yeah most women want to play games with attractive girls I agree with that 100% A curfew on gaming? That sounds like North Korea. Actually, no, that sounds like China. North Korea just doesn't have games at all. Exactly. Everyone, everyone has, everyone likes more attractive people. And as much as people like to say like, oh, beauty subjective, blah, blah, blah. We can tell who's attractive. Like if you ask a hundred people, 90 of them to 95 of them are going to say the attractive person is attractive. Like, it, it, that's just the way it is. Like, there are things that humans identify to be attractive. There is spectrum on that of how attractive you find certain features, but like symmetrical faces that are feminine to guys that are straight are going to be more attractive. They just are. But like when, uh, if a girl has chiseled man jaw, and a butt chin and like the whatever else they mutate these women in these video games with like the, most people are not going to find that attractive women or men like yeah there's a huge difference between not being attractive and being unattractive like that's the thing I agree with that there's a huge difference. But it's like, it's a video game. It's supposed to be an idealized version of a person. Like that's the point. It's like a power fantasy, whether you're male or female, 
If you're female, it's a power fantasy. If you're a male, you want to look at something beautiful the entire time. And that may also be true for the females as well. But it's like, it's just for whatever reason, everybody wants to see something attractive. And that's kind of what's so annoying about it is this is all based on choice. Like there's no reason somebody couldn't make an attractive character. Anyone could, literally anyone. But they're just like, ah, we can't do it. We can't do it. Ah, we can't do it. Oh, that shit was hilarious. I definitely watched that. Dude, they said there was somebody that literally said uh, at the French um, IGN or whatever in DMs, he said that like um, uh, that Stellar Blade was going to kill women. Like literally, because men would find the uh, men would find Eve so attractive that they would no longer be able to date women that look normal. Like, and women would be so lonely because men would never be able to find. And then also somehow it would make men beat women as well because you're doing whatever you want with a girl. It was it was like the French guy that made the article where he said that. Uh, Stellar Blade looks like a sex doll or a, a doll made for men by a man who's never seen a woman. Now that said, my favorite part of that article, and I think honestly the, the whole article was overblown because um, like a lot of people don't realize that that article was pro Stellar Blade. Every other thing in that article was like, hey, the game plays really good. The game looks awesome. I'm going to buy it. I'm definitely getting it. And then he says that whole thing about like, oh, she looks like a doll by somebody who's never seen a woman before. All that bullshit. But the rest of the entire article was, was pro Stellar Blade. And like nobody read it. Like everybody just says like, Oh, he's like shitting on Stellar Blade, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, he's being a little dick about the design, like whatever, which sure, that's shitty regardless. But I think that is to get clicks, honestly, at the end of the day. Like, I think that is just rage bait put into an article that basically says the game's awesome and the guy can't wait to get it. Like he's going to buy it. You know, I just thought that was like a f really funny, weird thing that nobody noticed as they're complaining about this article that the guy actually said he would buy the game and he wanted it. But then when they made him at, when they made him add the apology, he got all pissed off about it. And then he just went off ranting about how this game is going to kill women and like men will never find women attractive again. It's like, it's, it's great. I wonder if he's still gonna buy it. <laughs> Oh, true. Yeah, who trade? Definitely, definitely facts. And that was one of my favorite comments. I thought that was the most based response to uh, when this whole controversy came out about the article. Like, somebody literally responded, Who the fuck cares what the French think of this game? I'm like, that is the best response. Like, not getting all up in arms about it and just being like, Who the fuck cares? Like, whatever. <laughs> but also, like, you can't do it with a video game character. So no matter what, guys are still going to find normal women attractive. Like, it's such a dumb argument. Like unrealistic beauty standards. <laughs> That's all I hear. That's all I ever hear when I when people say dumb shit like that. It's just. That's it. Just whimpering, whining, complaining. Just shut up. When Fry downloaded Lucy Lou, yeah, true.
I remember posters in my room. I remember that. And you'd always try to like push the limits of what poster you could have before your mom gets mad at you. That one, that one, I feel like that's getting close. That one is, that's, that's too much clothes missing. And then you're like, it's just a bathing suit. I don't, it's just a, she's at the beach. What else would she wear? I just like her acting career. All my posters will be anime bitches. Always. Every damn time. I just feel like she doesn't... I still haven't added the freaking damn magic moves. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's hilarious. Is it like five guys behind a chick sitting on a couch? Has this song grown on you yet? Every time I look away, you're in a battle. I'm sorry, I've failed you all again. We're gonna get her these extra moves, I swear it. really does the fact that people can go so insanely minimalist with it and like it still works as a meme so that's what it is if you heard it by yourself by itself bro you'd be jamming out right now I'm gonna change weapons. You know what game I'd love to play on stream, but it would be way too much of a time investment is friggin' Monster Hunter. We all need a Tommy Wiseau poster in our rooms. So that's true. Have you guys ever seen Tommy Wiseau uh, game uh, streaming games, like doing Let's Plays? It's like an acid trip. It's the weirdest shit you'll ever see. I love it. I love it so much. Strike. Purple lightning. Take that. Like, I think he's stoned as hell the entire time that he's playing video games. Still my favorite thing I've ever hung up on my wall is this. We can almost see it. You see the size of that thing? That used to be a shirt that I would wear regularly. That was a shirt? That's the front of a shirt that fit me. That shit. Once, once I lost all the weight and I still had that shirt, I, um, it's like a chick with like a bandana here, you know, and she has pink eyes and pink is the greatest color, obviously in existence. So what I did was I put it around a frame and just stapled it in the back. But like the fact that it's able to be a, a poster that's. that wide and that's the front design of the shirt it didn't wrap around all the way or anything I had some big ass shirts I remember one day I put on a shirt that I used to have crazy just insane all right 
Um, can she do it? Can she do it? No, she can't. All right. Um, we're going to do a normal attack on this bitch. Dead. So dead. All of you. All right, guys. We're going to do it. We're going to enable the thing this time. Bam. We did it, boys. We're here. How does she not have a single accessory on? I don't understand. Which one's the biggest difference? I think we're definitely going with this one. We did it, boys! We're here! We made it! She's got spells now. Very nice. Alright, so let's Perfect. use her shit and uh, do the. Wait. Refresh and bam, look at this. We're taking care of everything right now. Does she have. Um. All right, we're just gonna use an antidote. Look at this, we're all kinds of preparing for the next battle, this is crazy. Nobody's gonna be poisoned. We'll probably get some health as well. All healer, hell yeah. All back to normal, fellers. All right, let's see if we have any of the items to get his SP back. Redeems. Why you always lying? I need to get that one. I probably ought to get that as a redeem. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. That's the part that did it for me on that. The oh my god. <laughs> Ten say Ken slash. Seven, zero, one, three, five. She just loves them numbers, man. Ten say Ken slash. I thought he was gonna strike like a year before he did. <laughs> Alright, y'all bitches are dead for real. How are you still living with one HP? That's BS. Another one's still alive for no reason. <coughs> Another one. You better practice if you want to beat me. Water is tight. I'm so upset. I'm done both of my cups of coffee already. Fucking Sonic! How dare you force me to drink my coffee? This is all your fault. <laughs> Robotnik Chug. <laughs> Rule 34, Robotnik Chug. Done with your bullshit. For a moment there, I really thought I was. Turns out, I only thought I was done with your bullshit. 
All right, we gotta switch weapons again. Balls. No, what the fuck? Why did I choose that? It's not what I meant to do. You dumbass. You dumbass. Anybody remember Milk Chan? Was that a thing that was popular anywhere? Skill issue. Accurate, super accurate, just like pinpoint. Oh, change the weapon, please. Thank you. It's a dra I like the Dragon Slayer sword knife better. It's a lot stronger. Man, why is a bitch always attacking guys that have full health? I don't get it. We're trying to take these bitches out. We ain't trying to take them out to dinner. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's stop letting them live. You know what I mean? Look at that shit. Two hits. The bitches are dead. The way that frog's sticking his ass in the air fitting to make me act up. like a normal person. How about that? Which one of you is almost dead? There you go. Dead. And now this one's definitely dead. Oh shit! See you, Hoot Trade Man. Have a good night, bruh. Yeah, Super Milk Chan. Brief stand on Adult Swim. True. Domokun, isn't that the uh, the big brown um, rectangly monster with the big sharp teeth? Is that the one? Okay, cool. Yes, I remember. You bitch! Why I got it? Oh man! Oh man! Jeez! Boop, boop, beep, beep, pop, pop. All right, good. I'm back. I'm back. I can hear me. Guys, if I can't hear me, I can't talk. It's impossible. You ever tried to talk without being able to hear yourself? Down the band. Tremor. I love a good tremor. But I have to switch weapons. Mm, I didn't want to. I was trying to avoid that shit. Uh, uh. But yeah, Monster Hunter, I think, would be a dope-ass stream. But it's like, it would be so time investment heavy. I'm going to use my impact bomb. Combo. Do your combo. Do your worst. Lotus Flower. He dead. Here goes my impact bomb. Wait, which fake pizza had? I have not seen this. Don't attack me, bitch. Yes. Stopped him from attacking me. Good save. Did you see him miss that? That shit was embarrassing. For all of us. This thing's dead. I think what I should do is the second I see uh, one of the monsters, I should switch weapons prior to getting into battle. So we're going to walk. Now we're going to walk. Oh man, I haven't used the joystick this entire time. Like not even for a millisecond. And I could tell because it feels so uncomfortable right now. Not uncomfortable, but it just feels strange. As if I haven't used it. Uh, Crapper the Rapper, which way am I supposed to? Okay, there's all frogs here. So now we're gonna change weapons. We're gonna make sure we're ready for these bitches. I like how one's a dragon slayer and one's a dragon fly sl slayer. No matter what, you guys are dead. You guys are so dead. I got your ass. I got you. In 4K. 
you guys are caught being destroyed like little bitches. And now you will go to sleep because it's what you're best at. Damn it, it's taking her so long to act. Uh, we don't need healing yet. We're, we're straight. We're good. <laughs> I don't give a shit. We're gonna be fine. Yes, put them all to sleep. <laughs> Dreamcast joystick is uncomfortable or something like that. Dreamcast up 2023. <laughs> Dylan, I've never seen that one. You'll have to post it to the Discord. Sounds hilarious, so. My little lotus flower will not do her lotus flower. Damn, that was actually pretty strong. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna use it on him. Dude, he is straight asleep. And he did. I should have used it on the freaking frog that was awake. They're making our frickin' frogs wake. Oh, hell burner. You know? What else are you gonna do? My favorite ones, uh, are always, always when somebody's like, coming out and it's all like emotional and shit and then the parents are just like yeah we know like what do you mean trust me we've known for literally years why does it go to this overhead view sometimes it you can't actually change it <coughs> It just gets stuck in a camera angle. Nothing withstands my blade. I sometimes get stuck in a camera angle, though. No, you bitches. I wasn't, I saw you coming. Don't give me this shit. Nothing withstands my penis! <laughs> We're donkillers. Come on, come on, blow up, bitch. Blow up. You go, girl, do it. How did that only affect him that much? That's so weak. Like, he would have been better off friggin' just striking them. It sounded like she sneezed. Like, hi, chew! Why does he stick his ass up so high? It's so suggestive. Oh, shit, she about to die. We gotta heal her ass. Nothing withstands my blade. The mushrooms do have penises. I noticed that. It's one of those thoughts where I'm like, that's weird. All right, let's heal everybody up. Let's heal everybody up. I don't know what we would do if it weren't for Healy boys. Like what would happen? Oh, cool. We still have plenty of these and awesome. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. Traveling around in my mom's rod. I'm awesome. Half yeah, of my life's gone by, and I met all my friends online. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. I have not heard this song in many years. Hey. 
Have we all heard Tom McDonald? All of us. Right? We all have. Correct? We all know of this man. This amazing musical fucking genius. Because he's straight up one of the best. Yo, finally. Damn, game. Why do you make me say freaking waste all that health shit? <laughs> teach me how to phone. Teach me, teach me how to phone. He did. It was pretty dope. Blair White's a real one. What the fuck? What the hell is even that? Oh, I don't like your tails, guys. This is not cool. This is not cool at all. And I have the wrong friggin' sword equipped. Son of an actual bitch. This is a different kind of awesome music. Anyways. Zap all! Yeah, the boss music's tight. But this seems like a, a lower key boss music, like a mid boss. And then I think they have a more extreme boss music for the boss boss. Unless I'm just wrong. Which is not possible. Let's just say it's not likely, but it's possible. Actually, I shouldn't waste that at all. Actually, yeah, I can waste whatever the fuck I want because I have plenty of MP now. I don't know what you heard about me. Bitch, I got plenty of MP. Ooh, that might hit them both. It won't. They're dancing too much. You bastards. Oh, lightning, lend us your power. It just feels like I, I haven't heard this music in a while, and I know we just fought a boss. I don't remember it sounding exactly. Whoa, that's too realistic. That bothers me, actually. The animation for that is viscerally realistic. Like the way they like twitch with their like arms just like flopping about. It's like, ugh. it looks like an actual animal being injured by electricity. It's it's that was kind of crazy. Damn, that's a nice wide range. How about this? How about new? Yup, it was an FMV of. Look at them! I don't like it when they get damaged. It makes me feel bad. But it was especially bad from the above view. Yeah, it's way worse from the above view, for real. Oh, I didn't like that gyration either. Uh, we gotta stop this bitch from attacking. Not that we will. I knew we weren't gonna be able to. Oh shit! That cancel actually worked out. Nice. They get their ability to attack so quick. Why did that hurt both of us? Alright, so I definitely gotta use... Ooh. Ooh. Was Beast King Blast effective? 
Damn, they're right out of range of it. Um, yeah, we probably gotta heal instead, unfortunately. Golden Slav. Here you go. Do you think I could put these guys to sleep? We're gonna try. Yes, gonna get them both. Really? That definitely should have gotten them both. Oh no, she dead. That was brutal. Okay, good. Yeah, do it to her. She got full health. She'll be fine. Yeah. Sky, take flight. Like picking them up. Oh shit! Oh shit! He's actually able to pick his ass up. Flying That's awesome. Very good. Stuff of nightmare. Let's see, can we put his ass to sleep? 59 hits? I didn't even know that could damage something. It usually doesn't damage, but that's probably like a, a compromise so that it doesn't, it's not a completely useless move during a boss fight. So well. Oh shit, I still gotta change the weapon. Balls. I could have been attacking with so much more damage. Yeah, like, dude, take the poison, please. I just can't stand it when bosses can heal themselves. That's super triggering. I'm just like, what are you what are you thinking right now, you stupid boss? Like how dare you. Oh shit, I still haven't healed her. Idiot. Oh, good timing. You go. Now she'll be alright. Alright, let's use uh, this so we can heal everybody. Now everybody's going to be basically back to full health, which would be awesome. Uh, impact bomb. Ooh, scissor storm? Gross. No, I hate those guys. Here goes my impact bomb. Can you please use your heal? Oh, shit. He can't use his healing now. Son of a bitch, dude. No, this is all going very badly right now. Oh, beautiful. Love this. This is good. This is a good thing that's happening right now. This is fantastic. Loving this. Alright, please let us just revive him. And then uh, use that on her. This is, this is, not, this is not going great. Yes, all right, everything's back to normal, guys. We're good. Please We're good. We're good, everybody. She got some nice thighs, though. I love that they come back to life with full HP. No, why do you want me to waste these things? You bastards. All right, well, I'm still gonna use the healing move. Can you give me a second? Jeez. You dickheads attack like every two seconds. 
Oh my god, why do I have to? Ugh. She is not going to survive whatever they're about to do. So, let me actually use this stupid ass move. Please, for once, let me use this move. Please, take this. This dickhead's going to attack before I get to do my move, and then he's going to cancel it. I swear this is going to cancel it. You son of a bitch, man! Oh, I fucking hate these assholes! These guys are pieces of shit. Literal pieces of shit. I fucking hate these guys so much. Well, if everybody gets brought back to like with Yomi's elixir, at least everybody will have full health. Please, take this. Dude, this is the most frustrating battle I've had in this entire game. Like, they just attack so often. It's crazy. And he's now dead. Whoa, is that not hitting him? That was barely hitting him, I guess. Fucking stop. Jeez, can you please just let him exist for one second? I just need him to do one move and then everything's fine. Like, it's crazy. I'm just gonna have to hope this is paralysis. Is this paralysis? Green. Please just let him do this one friggin' move. It's all I'm asking for. Like, come on. Don't be a dick, guys. At least this will give him more targets. See, now they did two normal moves. That's fine. But when they're doing special moves every friggin' turn that take away all the HP of every single person, I'm just like, jeez. Oh, now they're gonna kill him again. Stop giving her the friggin' damn it! All right, please just let him do his move. It's it's literally all I'm asking for. Uh, yeah, just let me do the damn move, please. Yes, please kill her before I can do the damn move. I love it, I love this, this is my favorite. They're both gonna die. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Where the fuck are you even doing that at? I'm gonna lose my shit. This is crazy. Like, both of you guys are absolute pieces of shit. I fucking hate both of you so much. I only wish for pain and suffering for you guys and your family forever and all time. Y'all are such bastards. Why? Why is this happening to Why? Literally how I feel. Oh good, she got to get off the move before they kill her. Again. I don't even have any Yomi's elixir to bring the freaking robot chick back to life. Oh man, that paralysis shit is so annoying. 
I don't understand how we were doing fine until we weren't. It's like these guys just get worse every single time. I'm never going to get to do this move. I'm just not. Oh, cures paralysis. So that he can die while being not paralyzed. Beautiful. When Goku does one of his Super Saiyan power-ups and gets a little bigger, do you think his dick gets bigger too? Probably the veins become more obvious. His, his hair down there probably gets spiky as well. I'm just gonna let them kill me so I can restart this battle and not perform like dog shit. Yes, kill both of them at once. Because that's super duper fair. Did I take a nap or did the nap take me? I've been kidnapped! Oh shit. That's where the term comes from. And it's because kids take so many naps. Like, how do they perform a move every two seconds? I think this time what I gotta do is actually do the critical hits to keep them from doing their dog I don't shit deserve moves. To be a Geo Hound. Performing like this, he's probably right. Imagine the only way you can attack somebody is by facing your ass towards them. What was I gonna do? He attacked me from behind. Dude, you backed up into him. No! He started it. Oh shit, that's true. That's probably what happened. Definitely in the lore. Wait a minute. No. No. No! Okay, good, but still no! I only recovered at that other friggin' save spot I didn't save. No freaking way. Okay, good. Whew! I thought, oh, I thought I was so further away than I needed to be. Alright, I'm not going up there yet. First, we're gonna prepare. We're gonna, we're gonna super duper prepare. First thing he needs is a Dragonfly Slayer. That's perfect. And then... Uh, I wish I had things that mainly upgraded speed. Warp Shoes. Hell yeah. That is super duper needed. Now, oh, I forgot we can like equip all the stuff we had on What's-His-Face. Ooh. I'd rather have the paralysis resistance, even though I'm wearing the sister's hat, like whatever. Two thirty eight defense, that's a really big jump. I'm gonna wear that. Thirty plus defense sword just yeah, I don't need that. Um, okay, nope. And then we'll see if she can have any upgrades. Literally just another the same damn thing. Um 
No, we don't need to change that. Shadow shoes. That's really cool. Those are very good. All right, we're good on that. And then for him. Oh, wow, that's actually better. Why do I have so many swordfish helmets? Dash shoes, giant shoes? No. Ooh, yeah, that's better too. Hell yeah, brother. I right, definitely need to keep the demon steers because that shit's amazing. That's what lets me do three hits on a combo. All right, now we're gonna get rid of the high heels as much as I'm not happy about it. Wow, how is that still the best thing? How on earth are the high heels still the best thing? Uh, 24 versus... Wait, what was that? Two thirty-five. Not worth it. Nope. All right, we're good. We're gonna save again because never get rid of the high heels. True. She needs to be sexy. Them's the rules. That's how we play games, fellas. And the man in the back said, "Everyone attack!" And it turned into a ballroom blitz. Ballroom blitz. A doom, 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 doom. I didn't, I didn't realize what it was until like the end. <laughs> this song's pretty chill too. I wish somebody would make another RC robot fighting game, like a really good one. That would be super tight. I would love that shit. What we're gonna do is very strategically, we're going to attack one single person. We're gonna focus all of our efforts on that shit. Which one's going to attack first? All right, we're going after that one. I should have done a critical on his ass. Gamble. Don't you give me that Phantom Echo bullshit. Oh, wow. Attacking all three of us at the same time. Beautiful. Did that seriously cancel out his attack? That would be insane if that were the case. White Apocalypse. Instantly. Bring this bitch in the air, hell yeah. Here goes flying ten say kids. That is not a bad amount of damage. Lotus flower. Boom. How did that only attack one of them? They're right next to each other. White Apocalypse is the craziest animation ever. Wait, ow, 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 ow. I need, you'll need to link me that one. The Phantom Echo is definitely the most bullshit move. We lost two defense with that. How unfair. Oh yeah, that would be pretty hilarious. 
Alright, let's try for a combo on this one. And then you, I swear if this bitch doesn't let me do this freaking move, I'm gonna be so mad. Just let me do the move. Yes! Suck it, bitches! This should help. This shit help. That's what I hear every time he says it. This shit help. Like, that shit good, but this shit help. Because once we're not dealing with two of them, it'll be no problem whatsoever. How did that one attack first? That makes literally no sense. Bro, they took her ass out. Not bad. She's like getting slowly pushed away. Oh, beautiful. That's awesome. Love to see all that damage. Alright, uh... Oh shit. I didn't know I even had this. That would have been helpful. I think items are way faster to use. And then we'll cure her paralysis with this shit. <laughs> it's like so in the background. Here you go. You guys remember Silver? Silver was awesome. That was a that was a good time. Spending like eight turns healing, and then this chick is gonna get destroyed right now. Let me attack! <laughs> There's no way I'm catching up to him and attacking. Alright, uh, I'll probably just use the all heal again. Because they're not going to attack me while I'm doing it, I don't think. So it would be worth it. And it's only eight. It's crazy that it's only 18. Alright, combo. Dead ass. Of course, Scissor Storm. Why would you let me do my move? Yep, canceled me out. You bitch. <laughs> Every freaking time. For him. And then we're going to try and do this damn move again. See if it lets us. There you go. Come on. Do the move. Do the move. Don't be a bitch. Do the move. Do the move. Yes. Suck it, you bitches. I get to do the move. Ha ha. Losers. This should help. Looks like you guys get boned again. Give me your worst, bitch. Oh, perfect. Double attack. Awesome. I asked for that. We're gonna do this one. No, that's such a waste. Okay, we might be able to do another spell before. Still just sitting there paralyzed like a dick. Alright, 
so I'm gonna bring his HP up again. This is definitely going better than the last time because that bitch is almost dead. He only has 1220 now, so. Don't worry, everything's fine. Shit, I forgot to un. Well, no, I didn't. I think. Nope, I did forget to unparalyze. Cancelled. Dick. What a dick. Because the worst part is this bitch is so close to being dead. Paralysis Elf. Okay, he's not paralysisized, but he is uh, being a bitch. If I could just get rid of one of these assholes, like that's all I would need. The second I can get rid of one of them, we're good. Yes, please attack her instead of everybody that's important. Oh shit, maybe I can do all heal. That would be amazing. Please let me do this. Come on, game. Don't screw me again. Yep, the game's gonna screw me again. <laughs> 100%. Okay, good. Actually, the one near me isn't the one that can attack. Awesome. That's perfect. Alright, so I might be able to pull it off. Um, what should I do? Impact bomb. You bitch. Well, at least he's not going to be paralysisized again. And we had a lot of health, so that's good. Yes! Alright, guys, we're doing much better now. This, should help. this, is, this is basically in the bag now. Yes! Here goes my impact bomb. Suck it. This bitch is super dead. Dead! Hell yeah. Do all the scissor storms you want, bitch. You're super dead. This bitch does not realize how screwy he is. He has no idea. Oh, I'm so happy right now. This is perfect. Because now, hopefully, somebody can attack him before he gets to do his bullshit. Damn it. Alright, that wasn't close enough. Yes! Cancelled him. Beautiful. Time to just continually cancel his ass. Dude, that warp shit is so useful! Oh man, this is beautiful. This is actually beautiful right now. I'm loving this. Do it quickly! Do it quickly! Yes! We are whooping this bitch's ass. And I got the warp shit. Dude, this is amazing! Doesn't even have a shot of attacking. Dude, this is so good. I love this game. I love this game so much. Why did she run around that way like an idiot? Dude, he's so screwed. I love this. He just cannot attack. Literally to save his life. No! How did he do it? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Still had DPS. Uh, 
That shit barely affects me, bitch. Dude, he's so dead. Dude, we did it. We did it, boys. Just whooped his ass. The second there was only one, I knew it was going to happen. <coughs> I was just waiting for there to be one of them. And the second there was one, bro, it was just unbelievable. <clears throat> How bad he got his ass whooped. And then it's like, this is just normal enemies now. Every enemy's like this. Enjoy the rest of the game. Oh, we should save. Imagine I recover and then save and then it just reloads those two things back in there. Yeah? We did it! I love that confetti so much. That's my favorite thing I've added. Always good to celebrate. Also, it's just a good feeling because that means that like other people are like, hell yeah, bro, we did it. <laughs> you made it back just in time. The wind be blowing just right now. I could give a damn about the wind. Why the hell didn't you tell us about the killer eggs? Killer what? Was your breakfast messing with you, lad? Or you look worse. You look no worse for that way. This is coming out of your tip. Now, be fair, lad. I've never put ashore here myself, and we wouldn't be here now if it weren't for your young lady there. In any case, prepare to shove off. Shove off. I feel like that would be like a 90s, like leave me alone type thing. Shove off, bro. You're not being very tubular. Did anybody ever like unironically say tubular? Was that ever actually in the lexicon? You see, usually we get FMVs. That was a V. Shove off, Eggman. That is no good. With this win, we be bound for success. I still think the biggest loss ever in advertising that's ever existed is when the 6S was out at the same time as the Note 8 from Samsung. And, like, Apple didn't use that as a chance to be like, you could either have success or you could have no date. Damn it. They could have they done it. And they could have just showed a guy being stood up by a girl and then sh showed a guy with his iPhone doing blue texts and uh, getting the girl. You know what I mean? Bro, biggest missed opportunity. Maybe you should clue the rest of us in here, Captain. What the hell are you talking about? Some days there be a strong updraft out from the granite cliffs. That's what we got now. We spread the ship's sails to catch the updrafts, and we glide across the granite cliffs like a wee little fairy. <laughs> like a wee little fairy. True. Dylan knows how to sell things. But if we do not make it across? Er, then we die. That's why I made you work so hard. It was an air pump. We release the compressed air and fly. That's actually crazy. 
Don't just stand there. You'll get knocked off. Who's going to steer this death trap? They got barnacles for brains, lad. Think what happens when the ship flies. We get to the other side and blammo. It's sink or swim. That's why she's called the 50-50. We had a term in painting when I used to paint cars, 50-50 paint job. And it would be like, at 50 feet away, at 50 miles an hour, that shit looks amazing. <laughs> or the other one was, uh, it would be the best looking car in the junkyard. The... I think that that cliff could never work with the water because how does the water get back up? Like it would either eventually fill the cliff or no, it would just eventually fill the cliff. Home. That's how it used to be, Dylan. That's how it was in the 90s. It was literally that. You know, is something the matter? How long before we arrive at Garland? What's wrong with you, Ryudo? You do not seem pleased with your home again. If I weren't looking for the Divine Sword, I'd never go home. Ryudo? I don't even want to go home to that miserable place. But why is that? It's your hometown. The village was created to protect an idol. They worshipped it. Built a shrine. Idol? To protect the idol, we train as swordsmen. Aim to purify our souls and resist evil. That was the idea, anyway. Until my brother messed everything up. What exactly... Eek! What is it, Sky? Ryudo, there. I see it. Yeah, I see it too, Sky. Well, Elena, there it is, Garland. That is a weird looking ship though. Gotta be honest, it's a weird ass looking ship. It's like a house built on two huge kegs. You guys ever had wine uh, that's aged in whiskey barrels? That shit is so good. And it's way more alcoholic than normal wine. That's the other benefit. Thank you very much. I think I've finally become used to the sea travel. This time I did not even mind the rolling and swaying. Erp. Anyway, I never imagined that we could fly across the Glanic Cliffs. Glanic Cliffs. Glanic Cliffs. Ecclesiastes. Truly, a most remarkable idea. Aye, the odds were against us, but we made it. Now the ship be needing repairs aplenty. Captain Balaka, thanks again. Don't mention it. I'll be in port a while. When you be done with your business, we're all yours. I thought you said I couldn't go back, you liar. You big liar. How do the towns know in what order to make better weapons? Like, how do they know what order the adventurer is going to visit each town so they can always have the correct upgrades of equipment? How do they know? Arr, the, uh, the good old kegger balls. I remember my first pair of kegger balls. Arr, they were just disgusting. Big, beautiful, disgusting balls. Nothing's changed. Everything's just as I remember it. What a quiet village. It seems so terribly sad. Okay, shit talking his hometown like that. Been like that for a while.
Hey, it's Ryudo. What the hell is that slime ball doing back here? You better run, you little bitch. I see you are hated here, Ryudo. <laughs> Tio, that's a terrible thing to say. But, Ryudo, what's going on? I love the dog sounds. Like, this literally sounds like a suburban neighborhood at night. It's kind of awesome. All right, bitch, what do we got in the store? What do we got in the store? I wonder if that's where the phrase, see what we have in store for you, comes from. I'm guessing it probably is. Oh, a customer. Oh, it's Ryu. Oh, it's you, Ryudo. What do you want? Dick. You want me to spend here money here, bitch? What the hell's wrong with you? I can afford all of this, and I'm not going to buy any of it, because screw this guy. Sword of Makage. Don't get Makage about it. Uh, hell yeah, I'm buying this. 69? Nice. Equip. Oh, come on. F really? Eight? Seven attack? Really? Uh, it's so expensive. All right, we're going to look at everything else. I want that freaking sword, though. See, that's the kind of leap I'm looking for. Give me that. Give me that kind of jump. Why are you ripping me off? Damn. Plus 85 attack? That's insane. But also, the price is insane. Equip? Alright, good. So I don't have to buy the mithril dress. Oh shit, mithril! Nice! It's like from... Shining the Holy Ark. We're playing that tomorrow. Mercury bandana? Uh, Freddy Mercury bandana? Is that what we, is that what we talking about over here? Over here, over here, over here? Alright, so that only does 10 for the movement. That isn't worth it. Not even a little bit. Maybe for him it does 6 defense. I won't buy it under false pretense. Uh, no. That's really expensive for a freaking bayonet. Am I right? Am I right? Alright. Uh, I'm a little nuts at this point. Sorry, everybody. No, fuck! I didn't mean to buy that! You bitch! You ripped me off, you son of a bitch! Why did he buy it? I literally... Oh, I was... I was... I was hovering over the buy button. I didn't want it. I didn't fucking want it. <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> what a dick, man. Alright. Really, all it does is 10 movement? That's really dumb and lame. How in the hell is that an upgrade for that? Alright. That Dude, it's so rip. It's so crazy rip. Alright, well let's equip everything and see what we can sell. Because we definitely have to sell things. I do like the way this does equipping. I think is fantastic. Because you can see very quickly... The items that are only equipable for your one guy. And you can evaluate them versus each other. Um, this seems like it would be better. What am I wearing right now? Oh, because I needed the uh, the protection from the being knocked out. That's why. Alright, so the battle helm is obviously the best. Clearly we're using that. Warp shoes... I think the hunter's boots is what I just bought. Either that or it's the heavy boots. Either way, it's not something I need. I don't want to get rid of the warp. The warp's crazy awesome. We can sell all of those. They're all useless. 
We can sell all of those. All right. And then for him, what? Why is that an option? All right, 237. Um, yeah, might as well. They're pretty good. All right, that's good. And then... Nope. Nope. All right. That's a, that's a lot of nope. So now we can sell all this shit, which is good. Star Citizen. I mean, that makes sense. Had an overpriced... Uh, DLC that was just a monocle. I believe it. Star Citizen is like the rich person's MMO. And I guess the other reason these items are so expensive is because the guy's a dick. Like, and he doesn't like me. So, it's like, you know. So, we will get rid of the halberd because that's weak. Oh, wait, it's not weak. We're not getting rid of it. Um, poisoned knife. We don't need any of this. You have to be careful selling things because you could accidentally sell all. Okay, we're back up to what we had before we were robbed. Very, very clearly Rob. Alright, I'm keeping the dash shoes because I might want to put them on somebody. Most of these rings are useless. We have the best versions of all of these. Let's just make sure there's nothing specifically special. Cuts M oh, cuts MP consumption by 15%. That's kind of awesome. Uh, SP recovery by three. That's kind of cool. Oh, geez. That actually just frightened me. Because I, I didn't see the friggin' filter change. And then the lights turn red. And I looked and I just saw this terrifying image. Like, damn. Damn. Damn, son, where'd you find this? All right, let me turn off Google Chrome. That might be the thing that might help because it's running a little slow. Minimize. Uh, what else do we have on? We're going to turn off Discord and actually turn it off. And then we're going to leave all that on because it needs to stay on. And that's all there is to it, bitch. Um, let's find out if this can close. It probably can't. Oh, that's better. That's less terrifying, believe it or not. All right, uh, ups evasion by 25%. Uh, I don't really care that much about it. Um, oh, revival gem. Revives character once? That's amazing. It sucks, man. All the ones that are... Why is this only for one gold? I would never sell that for that. All right, uh, this one's stupid. I don't care about this one. Uh, very valuable bracelet. Agreed. It doesn't really do anything. So, sell that shit. Um, I think the only other one that's worth any money is this one over here right now. That one's kind of really good. But I've never needed it, so I'm going to sell it anyway. I'll sell it later. Uh, let's see. We have attack. Anything here particularly valuable? All right, we did all of that. Uh, anything? 
Ooh, Golden Nut. Restores 72 HP, that's it? And they're going to give me 1,000 gold for it? What's the point of it? It's got to have a different use. I refuse to believe that, uh, that that's the case. All right, so armor. Uh, let's see. Equip. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. That's actually worse for me. It doesn't do much for those either. That's kind of weak. It just upgrades the move, so I'm not really worried about that. Two thirty-eight to two forty-three. That's kind of good. What the hell do warrior leggings do? I can't even remember what friggin' item I bought. So why does the upgrade move up to a hundred on one character and does nothing for it on the? Well, there's probably versus the equipment he's already wearing. Wait. Read previous comment for whole story. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Yeah, this doesn't... None of these really seem worth it. Like, they're crazy weak. But I can't buy nothing. Like, I have to buy things. So I think we're going to get these three. Damn it. I wish I checked how much attack the other one does. Forged by a craftsman. Okay. Equip. That is good. That is really good. I'm just going to get it. I need to always upgrade the sword. The sword's the fun thing to upgrade. Silver flail. Equip. Literally. Oh, yeah. We already bought it for her. I'm going to buy this. It's expensive, but whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. So mithril dress. Equip. She needs it. Fine. Warrior mail. Aren't they all warrior males? Oh, Dragon's Dogma Original had a cheap DLC that included a monocle that you could sell for a bunch of gold. Oh, okay. I don't know why that comment didn't load properly. Originally. I saw the one about Star Citizen, and now I can't even find it. I actually don't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Star Citizen had an overpriced DLC that was just a monocle. Dragon's Dogma original had cheap DLC. Okay. That's funny. And now... Ooh. That's rough. Because now Dragon's Dogma 2 is, like, all about the DLC. So it's, like, ugh. Awkward. All right, let's buy all of the items we need, and then whatever's left, I'm just gonna buy. Uh, I'm just gonna buy all the armor. Scroll of all heal. That's pretty good. Oh, we already have seven of them. I'm going to buy one more. Uh, two more. Alright, poison antidote. We have 14. We don't need that. Um, bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, purifying. Mm, we have 11 of those. We're good. Move blessing? Oh, nice. 
Shit, I already have seven of those. Holy crap. Yeah, we need more of these. Just straight up by five. Alright, now we're gonna get whatever armor we need. And we'll see how much we have left. Makes you run faster? Okay, that might actually be worth it. This may be the one that's actually worth it for everyone. I wonder if I can wear the bandana and a helmet. No, you can't, because it looks like it, it disables the other thing. Warrior leggings. Oh, that's only 1400 Hell yeah, I'm buying that shit. I didn't know this shit was so cheap. Sorry, she's got to keep wearing the heels. That's all there is to it. Alright, this one's actually expensive, so... It's definitely worth it in this case. Holy shit. All right, good. I think we did good. I think we did really good. I think I definitely need to save because holy shit. That was a lot of shit we just did. And it's super duper good that we did it, but where the hell is he in? There it goes. Let me in the end. sure this guy hates me too. It can't be. Ryudo! Why did you come back here? To haunt us? What a dick. Everyone's literally a dick. I'm glad that inns are free to stay at though. Alright, I gotta pee real quick. Give me a sec.
Dude, dog ambience is the best ambience. I mean, you don't really need the the microtransactions in um, Dragon's Dogma, but the problem that I always have with microtransactions, especially in single player games, is they always make it less convenient. Because what that means is, <laughs> that's some ASMR level stuff right there. Hell yeah. So this is my ASMR channel. Welcome everyone to dogs barking and me talking. I hope you're all ready to relax and uh, listen to a dog bark. Um, I forgot I saved. Anyways, we're going to save again just to make sure. Um, but yet, yeah, like, the problem is what they'll do is they'll, they'll make artificial difficulty in certain places of a game so that you want to buy those microtransactions. So let's say there's something that refills your MP and you can buy it really quickly, right? Well, what they'll do is they'll make it so your MP drains faster so that it's way less convenient to not buy the microtransactions and that usually will change like how fun the game is and that's really my main problem i just don't think there should ever be microtransactions in a single player game they're just shunning it like capcom's been screwing up lately man like big l's capcom's been taking big l's like, did you see their uh, Street Fighter character from um, Spy Family or whatever? Like, <gasps> here, let me pull it up real quick. There you go. That's supposed to be same person. There's like one picture that I saw that was like insane. That's the one I'm looking for. It was like, that actually looks a little bit better than the one I saw. Where the hell is it? I'll have to find it. I'll post it on the Discord. It looked insane. It was like a picture from the front and the lighting was just right to where it was like, Hurr. but either way, even this, just, just not great. Like just, just not great. No, no, no. Um, but, uh, and then today, uh, people found, people found a, uh, post from them talking about localizers and how, uh, localizers are there to, you know, promote diversity and inclusion and um, and make things sensitive culturally and change, like, they're literally saying that localizers are supposed to be vocalizers and they thought that would be received well. It was not. Nope, it definitely was not. Because there's this, like, it's in the middle of all this controversy over localizers changing shit and ruining games and anime and everything. And they make this post saying, well, localizers have many jobs. And one of them is to make sure that diversity and inclusion and people are comfortable and, and blah, 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 blah. Like, just don't change shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cerulean. You, I didn't actually see her comment till now. But yeah, uh, let me know if you have a link on that. Uh, I'll read it because, dude, it's so bad. Like the... As I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, localizers have one job. Translate the shit. That's it. If it says ramen, don't say noodle. We know what ramen is. We know. If it says rice ball, don't say jelly donut. We know what a rice ball is. Like, anybody who's consuming this media has already consumed enough of it to know what the shit is. Like... 
but that's the thing cultural appropriation they don't want you using japanese phrases or words and like because they'll be like well that's cultural appropriation we don't want you accidentally saying a japanese phrase what the hell but that's also one of the main reasons you play like a japanese game i cannot stand when i play a game that's supposed to take place in japan and they're using all these american phrases and shit i'm like this is weird like i get it they're speaking english right which is already like a little bit well they're all in japan and they're speaking english sure fair but like use the japanese phrases use the japanese like you know everything don't change anything to make it seem like it's in america Yeah, that's right. Beat it. Well, if it isn't the outcast himself, why are you here, Ryoto? You know you're not wanted. You don't belong here. I wish I could welcome you home, Ryoto, but the scars of the past are still too fresh and I've yet to heal. Ryoto, you're no longer welcome here. We desire to forget what happened here. You... We desire to forget of you and your brother. Now leave, leave this village. Melfus is here. I can feel it. M Melfus? Where? Whoa, did you hear that? It was like, you saw Melfus? Yeah, dude. Like, literally, all of it just needs to end. All of it. Every last bit of it. Every single person that supports any of these narratives just needs to be fired because they're not making any company's money and they're only losing fans. So why don't you fire them? It's easy to do. I promise. It's super duper easy. Just press the button. Boop. You know what I mean? And it like, I don't even feel bad about it. If every single one of them got fired and got replaced with AI, wouldn't even care. And that's what they did. Because imagine if we all had, like, a good, solid, like, kinship with, like, localizers because they were fans of anime and they cared about the IPs that they were translating and it was really important to them. If, if somebody suggested that they be replaced with AI, there'd be this huge backlash. Like, no, don't do that. That's not fair. They have jobs. They're people. They're really good. They care about this. That's their career, blah, blah, blah. But nowadays, if somebody said, we're replacing all localizers with uh, AI, everybody would be like, fuck yeah. Yeah, man, do that shit. I'll take it. Sure. It'll be less effective, right? I'd rather it be translated by a human. But humans right now don't translate it correctly. So just get rid of them. I don't care. There would be no backlash whatsoever. It'd actually be kind of better, honestly. It might be better. Haven't you two brought us enough Mitch's fortune? Apparently, I heard the um, the localization for um, uh, Skies of Arcadia changed a lot, too, which I was surprised of. Don't bother. I'm leaving as soon as I finish my business here. Very well, then leave this village in peace, but I must beseech you. Bring no more misery upon it. That's how he said it. Step one inch out of line, and I've got six inches for your face. And you'll pay! You and your good-for-nothing brother. Brother. How horrible. None of this could be Ryudo's fault. It was Melfus who caused all the trouble here, right? Save it, Elena. We do what we came here to do, and we leave. See, now that he's this big adventurer, whatever, like, I don't know. If I came back and everybody was like, you're not welcome here. You need to leave. I'd be like, bitch, make me. Try it. I just killed a 30-foot scorpion. Two of them. Bitch, tell me to leave again. Ryuta, why do they treat you in such a manner? Beats me. But this is your home. What could have ever possibly happened that would make everyone treat you like an outcast? Not worth per repeating. Stop prying. Have you any suspicions as to where your brother may be, Ryudo? 
My old house. We begin there. Can I climb to this? This old fire tower hasn't changed any. Same as it always was. When I was little, we used to sneak up here to play. We always got yelled at when we did. This barrel was always here. It's never moved since I was a kid. This guy has always been here. He's older now, but it looks the same. Ryudo, you whippersnapper, now look what you've done. No sooner you've come back than that no good Melphis shows up too. Grandpa, remember your stress level. My stress level? I have a mind to... If, I, if you're worried about my health, then pack up and get off the island, you son of a bitch. I think that was highly inappropriate for a game. You know, um, all the grown-ups in the village call you a jinx. Kind of racist. Why do they call you that? Did something bad happen? Did you do something bad, Ryudo? Listen to your elders. They're right. I'm the worst thing for this village. Now beat it. That is inappropriate advice. Very inappropriate. It is not age appropriate. Ryudo, you've come back, have you? I'm sorry, but I have only one thing to say. Leave us immediately. What a b b bitch. How? How can you say that? This is as much his home as it is yours. You m why must you be so rude to Ryudo? I won't argue with that, but with Ryudo here, this village is doomed. Yeah, like, why can't people just tell him that, like, hey, if you're here, something bad could happen? Instead of, like, get out, get out of here, you son of a bitch, I hate you. Why are you such a piece of shit? Why are you here again, you bastard? Like, just be like, oh, man, if something, if you're here, something bad might happen. Like, you really can't be here. It's not safe for us. Like, stuff like that. Instead of being, like, total dicks. You know what I mean? They could have done that. They could have done that as much as they want. As I live and breathe, it's Melphis. You're the swordsman that won all the tourneys. Actually, I'm Ryudo. Oh, you are, are you? But that Melphis, he was so strong and competent. No one could wield a sword better than he. Okay, she's senile. She done. She done, son. Ryudo, now you have seen the look in the eyes of the villagers, the look of fear. Don't pull salt in an old wound. There's nothing you can do to leave. But leave, Ryudo. Let us forget. I understand, Chief, but I'm sorry. I can't just walk away. I've been running from my past for too long now. You're just gonna have to deal with it, bitch. It was good. It was stressful. A lot of working on... Very annoying I and I files for the Asiga printers. It's like once you make the settings for the printer, then you have to actually put it into a text document that's basically whoa shit. That was crazy. Uh you have to put it in a text document that turns into coding. So it's like coding that's specifically used for this one printer ever. Um so I had to do a lot of research on how to code that properly. Uh, and then had to test it and make sure everything lined up properly. It was just, it was a lot of work, but I did get to meet a new really cute spider today. I found a, a lime green uh, jumping spider, and it was awesome because it was transparent. And it had these little stupid eyes, and it looked adorable. I liked it a lot. There are other places to take the hunt. Meet us at the inn. Come, Tio. Actually, um, I had the pictures up when I had Discord on. Fuck! I just dropped the thing. All right, let me see. D I S E O R D boy. Oh, um, 
Cerulean, let me know if you can find that uh, Capcom localization tweet. Where the hell is it? Okay, there it is. Because uh, the stupid thing will not let me actually uh, zoom in on anything, I'm just going to save them real quick. And then I'm going to load it up. Should be in downloads. There it is. Okay, here you go. Okay, so yeah, here's here's the spider bro that uh, I met today on the bench. This is like the edge of the bench. But look at that stupid little face. He's so awesome. Anyways, I almost got him. But I couldn't. Uh, let me see if I can open it. Yeah, this is the other picture. This one's better. Shit. Stop zoom. Look at the freaking quality on this camera, though. Like, this is a phone camera. And then when I zoom out, look how far it freaking... This is like a zoomed in, zoomed in picture. Like, you can count all of his eyes. It's nuts. But anyways, he was a cool-ass guy. He was, he was neat. I liked him. I tried to get him. I even made a, like, a little container to bring him home. And, uh, um, yeah, I guess YouTube blocked it. Maybe if I go into YouTube itself. And then go to my channel. Oh, shit, this is so difficult. All right. Oh. Uh, channel where the fuck is it view your channel am i live streaming right now oh shit all right um the last chat it has is uh wait maybe it's just because yeah i gotta scroll down on the page Whoa, it didn't even show that where it, where you said try that obviously replacing dot with an actual dot. It got rid of that too. That's actually nuts. On uh just tell me like tell me what you searched for to find it and I'll just search for it on Google cuz YouTube literally will not let you do that. All I see is XD. I linked it unless YouTube blocked it. Interesting. That's pretty crazy. Try that. Obviously replacing dot with an actual dot. Like YouTube loves uh, just getting rid of shit. Maybe if I'm on live chat. Nope. N nothing. Nothing brings it up. That's crazy. Uh, let me see. Capcom localization tweet. All right, where's this dumb shit they said? Damn, that ain't it. Nope, that ain't it either. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, here it is. Uh, localization, it says, what is localization? 
Embark on a global adventure through the lens of game localization. Beyond mere translation, we're diving into the art of cultural adaption, preserving context, and inclusive storytelling. So, like, you can't just... You can't just translate it. You gotta make it inclusive language, which is like, ugh. So my voice is getting staticky? Are you sure that's not the water in the background? Is this better? Is this better? Let me know if it's still ass. Um, inclu inclusive storytelling. Join us as we unravel the intricacies that make games resonate worldwide. Localization isn't just about translating words. It's about adapting the game for a global audience. Think cultural nuances, idioms, and regional flair. A good localization makes players feel right at home wherever in the world they are. That's so stupid. So dumb. So, like, think cultural nuances, idioms, and regional flair. Literally talking about getting rid of anything that gives... Anything that gives the game a Japanese feel or use of Japanese idioms or cultural, like, um, practices, whatever. Just taking all that out and just making it like, oh, yeah, they're having burgers and fries because they're in Japan, but America. Like, it's, ugh, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Each language has its unique structure and cultural context. Our teams work to ensure the narrative and dialogue maintain coherence and emotional impact. It's not just about words. It's about capturing the essence of the story in a way that resonates with the target audience. Like. Oh, there it is. Lost in translation. Nah. Preserving the vibe is key. Jokes, references, and even gameplay elements might need a little cultural remix. Gameplay elements. It's important to find that sweet spot to make sure players get intended experience without feeling like something got lost in the process. Uh, where the hell is it? Yeah, it's it's just so dumb. It's It's so dumb. Like, they didn't... Uh, oh, cultural sensitivity and characters. This is the last one. Um, character design and development must be culturally sensitive. What may be acceptable in one culture might be offensive in another. Localizers play a crucial role in ensuring that characters are relatable and respectful. Avoiding stereotypes or other references that could be perceived as negative in specific cultures. Localization efforts extend to promoting inclusivity through language and representation. This involves adapting not only linguistic aspects, but also addressing gender-specific language, cultural norms, and diverse perspectives. The aim is to create an immersive experience where players from different backgrounds can identify with the characters and narrative. This can be challenging for certain languages due to grammar. Like, shut up, Capcom. You're a bunch of little bitches. And look at this. Uh, where is it? Google Chrome. This is what they have right here for inclusive language and representation. It's so important, everyone. It's so important, everyone. We care. We care. We care. We care. I care. Exactly. Or something the translator personally doesn't like. All right, Dylan, man. Thanks for coming by, bro. Appreciate you. Like, it's mostly about what the translator doesn't like. It's it's literally when they say uh, from players with different backgrounds can identify with the characters and narrative. It should say where localizers can identify with characters and narrative. That's exactly what it should say. The static is back. What the fuck? Hold on. I don't I don't see it on the mic. 
Boom, boom, boom. Let me see way up. Boom, boom, boom. Now I forgot to say way up. Is that better? Is it because I'm shaking my foot? It might be. It might be shaking the microphone. That's possible. My brother was always better with the blade than anyone else. He would have been a great sword master. It's still bad? What the fuck? I don't hear it on my end. That's really weird. I'm just going to unplug it and plug it back in. Boom, 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 I forgot to say. Boom, 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 I forgot to say, way up, way up. Is it still there? All right, good. Okay. Yeah, I was just being a dick, I guess. How did he come? <sighs> Weird question. Then to be possessed by Valmar. All right, that's better. That's a better question. You don't understand. Melfus did it to himself. Everything. He. He. Ag! I don't know what that was supposed to be. To the end. Marag awaits, and Melfus will be found soon enough. Rio now! You really think you can kill Melfus, your own brother? I have no brother. Melfus is a demon and I will kill him. You ran before. How do you expect to deal with him now? Especially if he's a demon. No, I'll do it. I'll kill him myself. I'll be sure to inform the chief of your bravado. Stop it, Ryudo. Hiya! Get that ass whooped, bitch. Who the fuck you think you're dealing with? I'm Ryudo, bitch. Damn it. If you hadn't run away, if you'd only fought with me back then, everything would be different. Perhaps. But this is the now. And you have no hope of defeating Malphus. And even if you could, it would not unbend a single blade of grass in this cursed town. Got him. Got him. Sir? You felt like a bitch. He's right, you know. This village has been beaten, shamed. Just the mention of Melfus' name is enough to make us cower in defeat. When the village's greatest sword, swordsman became possessed, we lost not only our sword of justice, but the ideals it stood for. <coughs> village of swordsmen. Bah! Humbug. Justice is something that cannot be stolen. It exists in your heart. Ideals can never be lost if you believe in them. She right, though. Bah! The hell do you know? He's probably had like three different voices in the last 20 seconds. Go. Ryudo waits. For no man. Boom, boom, boom. That shit is going to be playing in my head for the next, like, probably week. Just imagine you're just sitting there, right? And all you hear in your head for, like, four hours straight is boom, boom, boom. I forgot to say whale. Then you say boom, boom, boom. Then you say whale, whale. That's it. That's the length of the song that will play in my head for days. Ryuta, we've not forgotten what Melfus did. His sin has scarred our village. Why do you return now, Ryuto? You deserted us. What are you here for? Why? Why do you treat him like that? This is his home too. 
Elena, it's alright. We'll leave as soon as we're finished here. Until then, just ignore what they say. What do you think you can do by coming back now? Why won't you just leave us alone? Look at us. The village is in shambles, and yet you want to make it even worse. Stop tormenting him! Don't you realize how difficult this is for Ryudo? Elena, it's not important. Everyone in this town is an asshole. It turns out. Oh, man. Why even give me the choice? Bart, I'm back now. It's been, what, three years now? Do you know the person buried here, Ryuto? Yes. He was this old guy. Another of Melfis's victims. Look, such an old grade. I can't even read the name on it. It's been like that ever since I was a kid. No one knows who grave it is. But everyone who was born in the village comes to rest here. It must be someone from ages ago. Grandfather, it's me, Ryuto. I'm back. I'm sorry to make you worry. Ryuto, is this your grandfather's place of rest? Not my real grandfather. He's the old man that taught me about true swordsmanship. Ah, the grandfather you tell all the stories about. The one who taught you the way of the sword. Yes, that is what he just said. They all have swords on their graves, too. This is the town of the swordsman. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. General store, wharf, in. Maybe the wharf is where I'm supposed to go. Nope, that is not where I'm supposed to go. I, I cannot tell if the barking that I'm hearing in my left ear is from this town or if it's in real life. Because I have my window open. And there are sometimes dogs outside barking. It's just very confusing. I've talked to every dickhead in this town. Everyone's gotten their chance to shit on me. Ryuta, why didn't you let me know before you left the village? There was nothing I could do. What's that supposed to mean? I thought I was your friend. It would have been wrong to involve you. Involve me? Look, I don't expect you to forgive me, but you must understand that I did what I did out of friendship. There was no other way. Yeah, take that, nerd. You couldn't tell me out of friendship? That's a total lie. That's just when you need a friend. I knew you wouldn't understand. And so now it's trust me, is it? I couldn't tell you because we were friends, huh? Like I said, I didn't expect you to understand. You just leave without a word, and on top of that, now you say you don't expect me to understand? Look at this, here in the corner of the door, there's little marks. See, right about waist high. And there's one mark way above, right? Yes, you're right, there is. What are these marks, Ryudo? Ryudo? Ryudo, wait, is there something wrong? Oh, I guess those are like marks of him growing up. They really did use some quality ass barking sounds. You know what game has some of the best sound effects I've ever heard in a game? Is uh, Costume Quest. Holy crap, the feels that game gives you. It, it just feels like you're running around on Halloween. It's, it's actually crazy. Costume Quest was so good. It's like the most innocent fun you'll ever have. 
it's probably it's probably the best game that exists to play on Halloween. I feel like the sequel made it weird. Like I don't I can't remember what was different about the sequel. I need to look it up now. I need to just see a screenshot of it. Cuz I know there was something that I was like not about it for one reason or another. Huh. It looks basically the same. I might have to play it then. I guess I was thinking of a different game. No, it pretty much looks just as good. Maybe a little bit better graphics, actually. When the hell did that come out? Excuse me. Melfus is coming back? His thirst for destruction is unquenchable. How much more will he make us suffer? Ryoto, you wouldn't know because you deserted us. Oh, how we've suffered. Stop. You must not say such things, please. Her little cry face gets me every time. Stop turning around the camera game. Damn it. How am I supposed to find my way around if you keep screwing around with the camera? I'm not exactly sure who I'm supposed to find. That's a solid one right there. Rena, I'm finally home, big sister. Sorry to make you wait for so long. Sister? Ryudo, I didn't know. She wasn't really my sister. She was Melfus's first victim and his fiance. Everybody that he calls something isn't really that thing. Gallius, it's me, his kid brother. I've come back to settle everything. Ryudo, he was a victim of Melfus too? Yeah, he cut him down without hesitation. Once possessed, no one could stop Melfus back then. Sasha sleeps here. I wonder who Sasha was. She was still a child when she died. She refused to believe Melfus would do anything wrong. She trusted him until the end. Rip, literally. We already had this talk. Ah, oh, balls. I was trying to get out of it. I feel like I talked to every single person in this entire town. And on top of that, I went to the inn. I went to the store. Like, I very much don't know what the game wants me to do at this point. I can't leave, either. Oh, wait, maybe I just have to stay overnight. So you want to stay? You damn pariah. What a dick. Everyone's such a dick. Ah, Merrick, how did it go? The scent of Melfus hangs heavy in the air. He is in this village, of this I am certain. M Melfus? You, you brought Melfus here? Ryudo has nothing to do with Melfus being here. Why must you persecute him? What has he done? This village is doomed, I fear. Her destruction is at hand. 
Why do you say this? Elena, forget about it. I do not understand. These are a warrior people bound to the blade. Why then do they permit another to trample them underfoot as so many stones along a path? Marig, their wounds do not pierce their flesh, but rather their hearts. I'm saying they're pussies. I'll let you stay tonight, but you better leave in the morning. Sure. Not that you could stop me. I could stay for six weeks and you can't do a damn thing. Just for the record. I wonder what happened to Ryudo here. Yay, voice! Is this really where he grew up? She sounds slightly British. She sounds like a British person hiding a British accent. Miss, do you really want to know what happened to Ryudo? There he is. Who are you? It does not matter. Do not look outside. Look and I will leave. One more thing. Do not repeat this to anyone. Understand? Uh, all right. That's gotta be Sky. Just tell me. What happened? I would also like to hear what happened. Known as the village of swordsmen, okay. this is where men came to polish their skills and pursue the way of the sword. Melfis and Ryudo were raised by the village chief after they lost their parents when they were young. The two began combat training and soon showed incredible progress. Melfis in particular became the greatest swordsman the village had ever seen. How did anyone survive, by the way? If none of them could stop him, and he was just killing people indiscriminately, including children. Here we go, Ryudo. What a soft voice. Ha! Not even close! Ryudo spent all day, every day, practicing with his best friend, Gata. Gata looks exactly the same. Why is he an old man when he's a kid? Melfus was admired for being the strongest swordsman in the village. How do they practice with real swords and not slice each other up? I think that would be a bad idea. Eventually, Melfus became engaged to the village chief's daughter, Rina. The good-natured Rina was already like a sister to Ryudo. What are you doing, Step Bro? Like this sword without a cloud, like this blade pure and true, we, we shall, shall become, become swordsmen. Gay. Strong of heart. <laughs> then, one day, a terrible storm beset the village. I feel like this is the game's story's money shot. It's all been building up to this. From the altar of the idol came an unusual rumbling. The idol was a sword of such terrible power that it could only be wielded by the most powerful swordsman in the world. The sword was believed to protect the village from harm. 
And it only protects the village from harm if you can wield it. Yeah, well, I feel like this is their... Like, this is the part they've been waiting to tell you about. Rina went to the altar to quiet the angry idol. They're like, oh man, this is like going to be the most important part of the story. I can't wait till they see this shit. The villagers waited for Rina to return safely, but hope as they might, I like her the hair. strange rumblings did not cease. No one knew what happened to Rina. Thus began a terrible tragedy. When Rina did not come back, the worried village chief sent Melfus and a few other villagers to investigate. This is when things get real. Hell yeah. Yet the Super storm true. and rumblings only grew worse. I wish this part happened like an hour ago. <laughs> If it weren't for those damn scorpions, we would be watching this like 20 minutes prior to this. This reminds me of the beginning of Elemental Gimmick Gear. I'm waiting for huge mechanical tentacles to just start coming out of the mountain. Ryudo silently trailed Melpus. It's not that silent. I could hear him. And witnessed. That's a lot Memphis! of bodies. Rena! Oh shit! Memphis! I didn't expect that. Damn. Messed that up. That was his. What the hell's with all the purple? Shit. How could That's you? dark. And they blame him for leaving the after that? Of the dead Rina. Her body lay as it were. What a bunch of pieces of upon the sword of Damn. The villagers How on earth the island, could they be mad at him for leaving after hide that? Nor hair of Melfis. Murderer, idol thief. This is how Melfus was now known. Because of his brother, Ryudo could no longer live in the village. So he came to live as a geohound. That was about three years ago. So, up until now, Ryudo has lived bearing his own sorrow like that. Betrayed by the brother he trusted most. And then they kick him out. Leery of ever trusting and anyone then they're again. pissed that he left. Oh, it must have been hard. Being driven into exile. Living all alone. 
The poor thing. Your understanding that will make it all much easier on him. Yeah, so they exile him. And then they treat him like he ran away from them. Like, this is just a town of dicks, not swordsmen. That's it. Grail Mountain. We're going to Grail Mountain. Melfus has to be there. Then let us move with silence and certainly of day passing to dusk. We're going to Grail Mountain? It's become so ugly that no one goes there anymore. We'll go to the place where the horns of Valmar are sealed, and then we'll settle this. All right, fellas, it's time to save the game. And listen, tomorrow at 8.30, we're going to be on here, and we're going to be playing uh, Shining the Holy Ark. Because we got to shine that bitch up. Got to polish that. Yeah, wonder if there's something lost in translation there. Absolutely. It's probably what happened. They needed everyone to hate him because he's a male. <laughs> Stupid men. Um, anyways, I'm going to go to bed because I'm already falling asleep. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for being here. I really, really appreciate y'all. Remember, we're going to be here at 830 tomorrow. Um, yeah, so we're going to be on 830 playing... Uh, Shining the Holy Ark on Saturn. Always super fun. If you're on YouTube, I don't do Saturn streams on YouTube. So Cerulean, if you want to join, uh, be here uh, on Twitch. It's Mitsukito. Twitch.tv. Actually, I'll just put it in. www.twitch.tv slash Mitsukito. Bam. Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the link. So if you guys want to join me on Twitch tomorrow, I will be on there. I just can't stream Saturn on the Dreamcast channel. So, um, anyways, hope to see you guys there. Have a good night. Thank you so much for being here again. God bless. Love you guys.